out. It's Friday, the new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk. The show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. A wonderful evening to you all out there in Radio Land. If it's your morning or your afternoon, then good afternoon or good morning to you. Chungy told me some time ago this week that him always hear me say good night. So I'm going to say a special good evening to Chungy right about now. All right. Good to have you all on board Styles FM radio tonight and the show is real talk the one where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal your hosts tonight daddy rude and yours truly lady cleo and our engineering studio is the silent assassin cassidy so we go with you from now until 12 midnight when the pumpkin changes and daddy rude Becomes a lizard. <laughs> and Lady Clear remains a princess. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome aboard, guys. And we're going to have a great show lined up for you. Remember, the show is rated A for adults only. So all the kids are to be away now from the radio or the radio should be away from them. Right, and if you're tuning in on the FM dial, it's 96.1, 96.5, All righty, and we're predominantly aired via those dials in St. Anne's, St. Mary, St. Thomas, Portland, Jamaica, and via the World Wide Web, of course, we are aired also across the island. And some parts of St. Andrew, too, do pick up on the FM dials. All right? So we want to give you those local and interna- the local and international number to hook us up later on. As we go throughout the show, you can feel free to call us or send us a text message, SMS, or a WhatsApp text on this local line. It's 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And for our overseas listeners, hi, y'all. That number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And we want to go to our friends on our social media sites oh my goodness you guys on the social media platform we want to large you up and loud you up tonight because without you and you and you and you the show of course would not be at all possible all right so here we go our youtube friends you know you can watch the show afterwards on youtube as well as other shows are posted there um, go to Styles FM Radio. Go to YouTube, Styles FM Radio. All right, Instagrammers, you can follow us at Styles FM. Twitter fans at Styles FM 961. And for good old Facebook, you can check out Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page. Ooh. And later on, we'll be seeing our fan page friends shouting us out, and we will just load you up later on. All right? So our USA and UK and Canada on the go numbers, my co-host will take it away. With him pretentiously cute-looking self. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Good night, good night, good night, ladies and gentlemen. The stars of him on the go numbers are the USA, 712 712- 832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. In the UK, it's 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. And in Canada, the number is 647-957-9637. That's 647-957-9637. And I have to just always throw something at him because he sits there looking cute. 
and looking at me. I don't know what he's thinking. So when I throw him off his guard and give him something to do, then he'll stop thinking whatever you might be thinking, which is not normally good. <laughs> about Lady Cleo. So <laughs> I know he hates when I throw it at him like that, but I enjoy doing that. Yeah. Oh boy. All right, so I'm confessing, okay? <laughs> My conscience setting me free now. All right, so our <laughs> friends in it, Brooklyn. I hope it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> our friends in Brooklyn on the 91.3 FM and in the Bronx, 102.9 FM. Through listening through from Sundays to well, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Alrighty, all our friends out there in Radio Land, in Worldwide Web Land, we big you up tonight and welcome you once again to our very interesting and entertaining and informative show, Real Talk. So rude. <sighs> you look tired, but you kind of look. You look so popped down. You don't look so pop down. I didn't say you, were, you never look pop down. You don't look mm. so pop down. <laughs> Is it the shirt? The bright shirt. I like bright colors, you know. Where you got this shirt from? A couple, couple years old. Couple years? Yes. It's Jay but... Carrot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Miss care. Jay, how are you doing? I hope you're fine, girl. <laughs> And I hope the babies are oh, fine, God. too. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Jay, carry your clothes on you. Okay. Left to you alone, you well and Mommy, well. Maybe Mommy you well would do a good job, but oh, rude. Would M I Mommy them Jackson up? Um, brought us up, all three boys of us, to be very, very, very domesticated. domesticated yes. Why is your mic all the way around your ears? Your ears are talk. No, because... No, no, I, they said always there. Fix it, man. No, man, where it's at, that's how it has to be, because, see... This is okay? You, you always run more. Where? Run your so. No. Run to your tumok. No. It's never normally there. Cassidy, please fix this gentleman's no, mic. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. The, hey, ladies. The toilet when you're full, you know, full bad. <laughs> Cassidy was like, huh? Looking around at me. And him is like, no, 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 no. Could, could you fix... Here's Michelle. I'm fine. I know how to. I know how Maneuver to. Maneuver her? Yes, me know for the. But you don't like your mic? You can't. Your have mic it. look good enough. No <laughs> lie. My mic don't look so nice. I swear it. The girls are dilapidated. <laughs> dilapidated and dead. That looks firm and alive and ready to be spoken on. <laughs> Clear. It's true. You, you have a real mic. I don't know what you give me. Remember me tonight, not prestige here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that I am prestige. <laughs> Can I tell you, prestige is something else. We see Lisa locked in already and win some, mama, win some mwah, mwah, to all of you guys who are coming on board. Mama, win hey, some. She, win she, some? She loves to hate me. Lisa, Lisa oh yes. yeah. She loves to hate oh me. Oh my God, Daddy Rude is back. Kiss me teeth. I'm going to my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's her way of saying, welcome back, Rude. I love I, you so much. I so think I, so. I oh, my so. goodness. Because so last so. week, did she respond to us last okay, week much? Me, me a little I, bit. I left her to drive her. I'm the cooler. I'm the dominant one. Oh, Mama wins some to you too, my love. Special Women's Day. Blessing oh, yes, to yes. all Big up all ladies. Styles, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Thank you, Mama Winsome, and the sentiments right back at you and all our great female <laughs> listeners. Phenomenal woman you are, phenomenally. Okay? Yep. Yep. Marcia in South Carolina. Hey, guys. Good night. Good night to you too. We see Marlene on board as well. Yeah. So, this week has been like what for you? I didn't see you last week. You aborted me last week. But I was in great company, can I tell you? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Prestige. <laughs> Mr. Smooth. I'm going to tell you something. I didn't remember the date for my anniversary. My anniversary is actually the 26th of, um, of January. But I thought it was the 24th. And my wife's birthday is the 1st of March, mm -hmm. which is, that was at Friday. Mm -hmm. And we never saw two 200 members because we actually planned for each a real talk and then something click. Oh my goodness. It was, it was, I kind of wish, no, I, I didn't wish you had forgotten, but did yeah. you tell her you forgot? I hope she had given you a piece of two before for me. Yeah, idiot. 
<laughs> oh boy. Look, you know. <laughs> I know I know what to <laughs> what to admit to and what yes, not to admit and what to. Not huh? to admit. The judgment they will take care of everything. Oh my goodness. You know, there's no need to confess to mankind. But <laughs> you look not you don't look, you don't look three bad today. You know? Why does it have to be three and not one? You don't look one bad today. Okay. You know, you look, I know, you know, you know, look so fluffy. <laughs> That's you know? good. You look like, yeah, uh, you look, actually, you look toned. I look darker, don't it? No, ma'am, I'm not at the complex. Oh, because man. I, I was in the sun burning up the whole day no, yesterday. The black of the berry there. Sweet of the juice. All stuff. right, so just, just, just go and work with it. With it, with it I'll with work it. with the dark. Yeah, but I never sweet me those. I'm not tasty. I'm not tasty. Oh, Marvin from Texas, leave me alone, Marvin. <laughs> You're too bad already. Yeah. Um, yesterday, um, well, thank you for the partial compliment, sir. Cause you have, you have to hold back something. I don't know why. But anyways, thank I, you, I, sir. I, I never give a hundred. No. Thank you, sir. Do you? Last week, yeah. Once you deserve it, UL Jackson deserves a hundred percent compliment from me anytime. Huh? Don't ask me about Daddy Root. Okay, that's a whole different story. Uh, okay, so what? last week, yesterday rather, what I happened? was in St. Mary. What? I was at the James Bond Beach. Oh, did but you I see was the working. Bond? James Bond? No, I didn't see Bond, but I saw Nesbeth. Oh, cool. Yes, and a couple of other interesting people what? from the Jamaica Teachers Association. So we had a great family fun day and health fair. OMG, it was off the chains. For those of you who missed it, you missed something because Lady Cleo and Tamika from St. Catherine, we worked on the show. What did it help with? What did it do for you? Well, I did my cholesterol test. They pricked me hot. That, yeah. They pricked me really hot. It was hot. Nurse? <laughs> But I did my cholesterol test. It's fine. It's fine. Mine and isn't. I was told to stay, make it stay where it is and don't yes. get it any higher. You're not okay? Nope. Oh, yeah, eat. Conk. Ooh. No fight. So I just Ooh. learned. It's about time you were having some conk. I learned. <laughs> I learned that. Um, yes, just, Marvin, he had conk. He has a lot of conk. Week, just, since, <laughs> just since week that it has a lot of cholesterol. I mean, I wonder why. Because from. Um, November 2016, mm -hmm. I haven't been having any red meat, no beef, no mutton. Oh I've just been having so fish. So conk is that high? Fish, chicken, and Ooh. rabbit. Right? You selfish, you. I eat <laughs> rabbits too, you know. <laughs> I eat rabbits, and you know I love rabbits. <laughs> You'll get to that fan fusion. Uh, I can't wait so long. No, 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 no. So... I'm with, I've been trying to figure out why. So for two years, it's just oats um, shake in the morning, blend up with all kind of brand. And, That's why you're so slim. Right? And my, one, I'm, and my met metabolism rate is still high. Oh, my anyway. goodness. Now, my girl finally went, I think, earlier this year or late last year. And, yeah, 9.30, ladies and yep. gentlemen. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And the Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around, we'll soon come back. Yep. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget, 518-2399. No space, the body where you are, push it on me. You don't know this is crazy, now. We're representing for the adrenaline rush. 
With a musical ingenious digital tea, Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know, 48 to make the date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new arts and new music segment is from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. I tell him I burn up the place. It's not left no space. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Planning a party? Club night out? stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Welcome back to Real Talk. Let me just hail up quickly some persons over there in St. Thomas. Everybody locked in in Whitehall, especially in other parts of the parish. Gary listening in, mommy and the crew there in Whitehall. And of course, those right here in Portland. Big ups to you, the St. Mary peeps. And of course, the St. Anne people. And Celia, who is listening to Real Talk, you know, you have some friends who just don't want you to just enjoy a moment of fame and shine. Daddy Root says I look toned, and I was there enjoying the moment of feeling good, <laughs> like I actually <laughs> look toned, only to see her text. Daddy Root, I ah, something wrong with him, I then because which part of him, <laughs> which part of, which part of him is it toned? <laughs> she just cropped me and burst my bubble, my balloon, everything right there. So, but it's all right, Celia. I'll catch you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you were saying earlier. Yeah, so the conk business now. So almost, actually every week on a Wednesday, may have like a, a meal with conk and um, oh yeah, sir. And um, octopus and you're putting it back. You know, um, fish. Those are you know? aphrodisiacs, you know. Did you know that? Seafood. You need to work with me. <laughs> yeah, okay then. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, because when, when we finally go, go do my test and after two years, I say, yes, everything's supposed uh-uh. to go. No. I said, did you know? I mean, it's not high enough, but uh-huh. it, it over. The limit, which is, which is which five is point. I have no clue. I never asked from me here, so things out of what I start yeah, working on fixing five it. five or something like that. Five point seven. Only five. to discover since week. Mm-hmm. That conk has a lot of, of cholesterol. cholesterol in it, yes. Well, I'm glad that the health fair, man, is good. The, the, I must say, too, before I forget, um, <coughs> kudos to the JTA for putting on the show for the teachers. It was a free show, mm-hmm. by the way. And normally you'd have had to go and pay to see Nesbeth perform, right? So it was a free show, entry free. The tests, most of the tests, they had nearly like 100 um, persons could have gotten the test done freely. Yep. Blood sugar, blood pressure, um, cholesterol, and um, heart, heart screening tests. How's your heart? I didn't get to screen my heart, but you I think my have. heart is fine. <laughs> 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 it's clean and it's pumping well, so That's it should the be part okay. That's I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Let me shine, no man. Stop, <laughs> stop burst my balloons, no man. Please. So, my heart is good. And... Um, I'd like for Lisa to go check her heart, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Lisa, I told us you might not be so good, you know. Well, that, that was like, <laughs> so she's good, you know. Like, she, she was up that route for her mind, you know. Oh, Lord. And so I said. <laughs> so, big ups to all the JT officials or 
President Dr. Garth Anderson and our President-elect Mr. Speed, Miss McLean, our liaison officer, yes man, and all the regional directors, regional officers who were there, and uh, Miss Sadie Comrie, recipient of the Honor Roll Award 2019. Of course, all our PR chair and so on who were there, or Mr. Nash, Leon Nash, <coughs> and we had um, volleyball competitions, <coughs> raging bull competition. I, I went on the bull. Raging bull. Yes, oh. when I went on the bull. You ride it. And I rode the bull. You were thinking about genuine? Um, I was thinking of trying to get onto the bull to begin with for a very long time. I couldn't go up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when I finally reached up on the bull, people, in about two seconds, last? two seconds. Oh my goodness. I was flung off that bull. I didn't go up good, that's why. I didn't go, I didn't hold on good. Mm -hmm. And then fling me off. Mm -hmm. And the people laughed. And they took pictures. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> but it was good. The kids had their rides. And um, they got um, oral hygiene products. Um, the food wasn't bad at all. Yeah, a variety of dishes. And the bar was always up and buzzing. It was a good day for teachers, so teachers and their were families. Having alcohol. It was a holiday. I'm just asking. A bear or two, yeah? Or ting. So can, can... Or ginger bear. Can, like, at a school fair, do you serve alcohol? Oh, no. That's for minors. But teachers can have alcohol. But at, of course. At, at the school fair. Not necessarily. Just leave, just leave, me, just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> just asking. <It's laughs> so next year, people, I want to see Portland coming out in their numbers. Congrats to St. St. Thomas who won the volleyball. St. Andrew represented quite well. What did and you win? I was hosting. I couldn't win anything. So you won nothing then? No, I just helped people to, to win stuff. I just asked if you won anything. I helped people to win stuff. Did you stuff. win anything? No. Okay, fine. That's okay. <laughs> oh, man, I can't stand him right now. In Conk, it's only 2% of fat in total. Wow. Right? And only 2% of saturated, saturated fat in total. Wow. But 28% are eat a cholesterol. Ouch. 28%. 28. Yes. That's a lot, for And real. it's zero grams of sugar. Mm. Zero grams of dietary fiber. That's expected. 1% total of carbohydrates, 6% potassium, 8% sodium. Mm. So, mm. it's healthy on one side and, and not so healthy, healthy. So you on can't the have other too side. much of it. So, mm. I need to see how much you can have at any one time. At any one time. Right. All right. Well, I hope you bring that down because mine is good. So you got to get yours down, brother. You got to get it down because you could possibly, it could possibly lead to a heart. Yes. Cardiac arrest. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's see what Lisa's saying there. Cleo, anytime you are coming up to Atlanta, please come to visit. Not that a road. Okay, honey. <laughs> I would carry him for true. Not that a road for true. Maybe oh, you will. Goodness. Might. But... Um, so hopefully soon I'll see you because I want to come to Atlanta. Big ups to Diane Valentine over there in Atlanta too and to Vivian in Atlanta as Look, well. Look, the only thing I want to have to do with Atlanta is when I watch um, that, that thing. <laughs> Housewife? No, um, not Housewife. The other one. one. Hip Hop hip -hop and Atlanta, something like up the side. Oh, I've not seen that Yeah, one. that's the only thing I want to have to do with Atlanta. I don't think, you know... I won't have anything else to do with Atlanta <laughs> at this at this time. <laughs> I left it to Lisa. It's high risk. We have a caller <laughs> on the nine five four. Good night, caller. Mr. Jackson. Oi. Where are you? I'm there, brother. Hello, Cleo. Hello, Dan Dan. Anyway, Jackson, here it is. Yeah. You see, the, you see this conk thing I talk about and, and the cholesterol. Yeah. All right. Men don't know about cholesterol in conk, but cholesterol in general yeah. is not a bad thing. No, you have two types, you know, you have the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol. May I try to figure out which one of them in the conk? No. Listen, 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 listen. You see, this is, this is what the medical profession try, try for, 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 do, for do to us, you know, to, <coughs> to, um, to, to incite our spread, our spread fear about the things we eat, you know. Sure. You know, say, you know, say, everybody need cholesterol to be able to con to be able to convert um to, to to be able to make vitamin d especially especially in black people 
Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. But they never tell her that, you know. Because they want to tell you if you want vitamin D, they never want to tell her to take Vita- some, vitamins. Take, take some take some supplements or whatever. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but and they always say that people in, in in the Caribbean they are they are very vitamin D deficient because they don't utilize the natural sunlight? rays of the sun right. of sunlight and and the nat- and natural rays of the sunlight provide you with that um for it um it's a you you you're able to to produce more vitamin D um based on based on, on you having more cholesterol in your, in your body mhm all right so yeah. So, 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 so the rays of the sunlight itself will, in itself, help to reduce your 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 cholesterol concentration. Oh, but Dan, Dan. Yeah. You see everything we say a while ago. <coughs> yeah. Me not understand nothing. Me never passed bio. <laughs> as a matter of fact, the, 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 the teacher never even did recommend me for go to bio. Yeah. And as I'm telling you before, I'm never telling you again. Tell when me do bio test, the only know. time you supposed pass. When you copy. I would make copy. Oh, Jesus. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, Lord. I just know him so well. Them don't, but them don't, but them don't, they don't teach us in bio. Oh. That would be food chemistry. And I did some food chemistry back in school. I mean, I know when so I know about the, 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 the vitamin D from the sunlight between the like, hours of mid-morning. Yeah, the best time to get it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I yeah, get the, up in the morning time and I'm up the curtain and turn up in front of the when sun. When you're in the Caribbean, is, is in the morning. After 10. Because the, the reason the 10. sun is not that... Um, Penetrating. The, no, the penetration is not the problem, you know. It's, 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 no, it's, it's what the human body can bear. It's what? Is what the human body can can tolerate. Okay. You know, at at eleven o'clock, one o'clock, in that day, it, it's it's harder for the for the for the body to, uh, to tolerate. It's, if if you're not used to it. And that's the best time. No, after ten in the morning. No, no, I'm not saying the, the best time really is not is not the morning. Yeah. And 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 and, and here's another myth of the sunlight. <coughs> the, sun, the, the, the sunlight thing, it it don't make. Black people get darker, you know. Oh. So, 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 um, That's yeah. Right. So, so, so we can't, can't tan. Eh? We can't tan. <laughs> oh, I tan. I'm no, tan because tan. I got it, burnt it, in the it, sun it, yesterday. It, 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 it would give you a, it would, it would, it would give you a, 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 it's like a sheen. It's like a, it's like, what do you call it now? It's like a, it's like a toned sheen to your complexion. It's like it, it's like it enriching. Uh huh. And enrich, enrich your, your your natural complexion. Okay. All right, sir. Me think a lie. Me think a lie. You um. I got really told that you know. Me think a lie business you deal with in a dan dan. Eh? Think a lie business you deal with in a. You think a lie degree me deal with? Yeah. <laughs> I work in a law firm, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I don't know anything about I hear you, sir. I hear you. And the body. Look here, your body no bridge. Nobody, nobody no, 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 more, no more about your body than you, you know. That well, true. Man. So you don't, you, don't, you don't need that engineering degree or, you know, if you study engineering or you study law, that, that, that doesn't preclude you from knowing about your body. True, true. That is true. My mom got my belly big and my head ball. Who oh, can't tell me nothing more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Dan Dan keep it locked to here. Yeah, more as, later. As usual. We'll hear more from Dan Dan later on, I'm sure. And of course, big ups to four oh nine, not sure who the person is by name. But tomorrow is your earth strong when it comes. Have a great time. A fantabulous birthday. Uh, and don't overdo nothing. All right? And Do not overdo Nova. anything. All right, Nova locked in from Rockford, Illinois. Good to have you on board, my lady. All right, so tonight, of course, you know... It's going to be a lovely show. Oh, yeah. Um, there, there, there's, a, there's an interview. Oh, there, we have a call. Oh, we have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, caller. We, could, we didn't hear you just now. Could you repeat yourself? Thank you. I don't know. Good night. Good night. Um, happy Women's Day to you. Thank you. And to you too, DG. 
Thank you. Don't call up my name. I don't want to <laughs> Okay. I don't know what the topic is. I don't listen to Daddy Rude anymore. Yes. Um, I, I'm still far away from him. Yes. But I, 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 I don't know. I was just passing by the radio and I heard my darling Dan Dan's voice. Yes. And I had to call to say good night, Dan Dan. Oh, isn't that, you know that tweet? Wherever you are, Dan Dan, you're actually wishing me happy Women's Day. Yes. So Dan Dan, I merely just called to say. I've missed you, missed hearing your voice, and your voice might be one of the voices that allow me now to listen back. Oh. But it's clear, you can't find nobody else to watch the program with. Me have got, me have got, um, recruit Prestige. Yeah, man, we have a start with Prestige. We can't make certain, so we, we get a good deal for you, you know, Yes, I make him alone those smooth egg panties and I, daddy would alone. I don't want to call the name, but eh, hey, oh, 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 <laughs> Okay, mama. Yeah. Pick <laughs> up yourself, Mama Cow say I, 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 um strength of a woman is saying you know, every time. That's right. You gotta play that song for me later on. Shaggy, strength, strength of a woman. Does me a favor, man. Call, if you're call, right call, hand, call, I don't want to call you the right hand. Yes. You my right hand? Yeah, all out your right hand, Missy. Yeah. What do you know, man? Me look for you now. Me ready, man, sit here. Clap him. Clap him much time. Clap him. You give him three, you can't give him three. Three. Yeah. One. <laughs> Two, three. What so few man? Not even a sound. Let you don't hear sound them. Yeah. <laughs> Me and I almost oh, broke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, DG. Thanks for calling in. Keep yeah. it locked. All right. Yeah. All right. Look here. And of course, you will call back on the Vox Pop. Mm. I would love nah, to hear. Look here. Me na me na met DG mash up real talk like how she mash up brother Gary show this morning with our strength of a woman. Sitting. Oh yeah, because we know that <laughs> we don't have to wonder. <laughs> we know <laughs> what God is. Yeah. God is great. God is powerful. When, when, when the part, and who when, knows when, it might when, just um, be a woman. When Shaggy say exactly. Brother Gary say mm -mm, me not like that song. Yeah. <laughs> me not like that. Me not. <laughs> Look, we have an interview. Oh, it's DJ Taz. Okay, birthday yeah. tomorrow. My brother tomorrow. We, ha we have an um. That's just as bad as me. If you don't remember your brother birthday. No, I didn't see the number. The number. Say, I didn't if see you don't remember your brother birthday. I didn't see the name. You In see? a matter. Yeah, I didn't see the name. We have an interview to play. Um, that R. Kelly did. For it was what um Cassidy. Let me give get the credits right because we're not gonna own the rights to it. By who? Geo King. Oh, Gail King. Gail from King C from C CBS. CBS. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. All right. It was mm. it was the what morning Gail, show. Gail King, King was thinking. Okay, prime time special on CBS. What date was it? Is a is there a date? Um. So we don't own the rights to these people, but we're um. We're going to play this interview or part of an interview because it might take us up to 10 o'clock. And then we want to hear your opinion of it. Right? There are other analysts that came on and gave their opinion. Not necessarily that I agree with them, but we're going to play the interview right now. And it's Gail King doing the interview with R. Kelly. I think this, is, this has been his first or only interview so far since the whole controversy came up about the whole um the seven part series or whatever part series surviving r kelly and since he has been um, arrested and released recently so here goes i am surprised that you agreed to do it why are you sitting down with us today i'm very tired of all of the uh lies i've been hearing things and you know and seeing things on the blogs and you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God, um, all of them. Um, got little girls trapped in the basement, helicopters over my house, mm -hmm. um, trying to um, rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house. Handcuffing people, starving people. I have a harem, uh, what you call it, a, um, a coat. Mm -hmm. I don't even really know what a code is, but I know I don't have one, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything that you regret? Have you done anything wrong? Lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize, but I apologize in those relationships at the time I was in the relationships. Have okay? you broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. 
the six-part series interviewed 50 people, mm -hmm. family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Yeah. Were you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Mm -hmm. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes, but I'm not a devil, and by no means am I a monster. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife, Kitty Jones, mm -hmm. Lisa Van Allen, Lizette Martinez, Jerron DePace, mm -hmm. Faith Rogers, yeah. Asante McGee. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. They are lying on me. Why would these women say the same thing about you, that you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress? Why would all these women tell these different stories about you if they were not true? And they don't know each other. That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the explanation. You can start a rumor on a guy like me or a celebrity just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so-and-so did this to me, R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if, you, if you're able to write a book from that, if you're able to get a, a, a reality show, then any girl that I had a relationship in the past that I, it just didn't work out, she can come and say the same exact thing. Are you blaming this on social media? I'm talking about the power of social media. In 2008, R. Kelly was found not guilty on 14 counts of child pornography after prosecutors in Chicago failed to convince a jury that he was a man seen in a sex tape with a girl as young as 13. What do you want to say to your fans? Last month, Kelly was indicted again, this time charged with aggravated criminal sexual abuse of four women, including three who the charges say were minors at the time. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never? No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all that we've read. I'm going to tell you something, Gail. There's one you. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and, and lie on me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. 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 You feel that people have maligned your character? I have been assassinated. I have been buried alive. But I'm alive. So I think the point you're making is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, I'm, How stupid would it never be held for anybody? R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody... Let alone four, five, six, fifty. You said, what? How stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you're holding. That's stupid, it. guys. I didn't. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through? Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. Y'all trying to kill me? You killing me, man? This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're gonna. This let is the camera not keep true. This is not, doesn't even make sense. Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me, we're going to destroy your career. But Kelly's emotions remained raw. Robert. It's real girls out there missing. 
It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists, and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in death. Robert, we have to have a conversation. This is really, not I, me. I don't want you just ranting at the camera. Well, I, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes. What kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart because my heart is so big, people betray me, and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like R. Kelly, you do. When I listen to you, I'm it just does sound the like truth. you're playing the victim I'm card. just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, but Robert, and I apologize you, for that, no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Well, we're also hearing from the family of a woman who lives with R. Kelly at his home. Oh. The parents of Joycelyn Savage say that the singer not only abused but brainwashed their daughter. R. Kelly denies that and claims it was Savage's father who gave his daughter to him at a concert. I didn't go looking for a Jocelyn Savage. I was doing my show. He brought her and asked a friend of mine to put her on the stage with R. Kelly. Make sure she's on the stage. Mm -hmm. But in a news conference this morning, the Savage family says they have no doubt that Joycelyn is being held by the singer against her will. We went from seeing you or talking to you daily or weekly to not seeing you in two years. So that is a clear indication to us and as a mother that something's definitely wrong with the situation. And we won't stop until we have our answers and make sure your well-being is okay. Well, joining me now is Renee Graham. She's an associate editor and columnist at the Boston Globe. Renee, I know you've been following R. Kelly's story very closely. I'm so grateful you could join us today. From Gail King's interview, what really stood out to you, Renee? You know, I, what was shocking to me about the interview is I, I think that R. Kelly and his people perhaps thought this yeah. would be able to paint him as a more sympathetic figure. And if that was the goal, I think it failed miserably. It, it, it came off looking like the latest chapter of Trapped in the Closet. You know, he was unhinged, he was overwrought, um, he was evasive. So I, I, you know, that's what really came off to me. It came off of someone who was trying to manipulate um, the audience, um, the way he allegedly has manipulated these women. You know, it was remarkable. So many people are commenting about Gail King and her composure. She actually was speaking to my colleagues, Vlad and Anne Marie Green, earlier this morning, saying at no point did she feel that R. Kelly was going to threaten or harm her. But a tweet that you mentioned this morning kind of caught our attention. And you say, now we see exactly how R. Kelly believes, behaves when challenged by a woman. That was your tweet. Now we see exactly how R. Kelly behaves when challenged by a woman. What does this say about his track record? And what did you mean by that tweet? Well, you know, in, in Surviving R. Kelly, we, we heard women talking about um, not just sexual violence, but physical violence, and how if they didn't like the right basketball team, they would be slapped, they would be hit. Um, and this sense of domineering and control, being domineering and controlling. And that's what it felt like a little bit today. He is towering over Gail King, who is sitting there being the consummate pro as he is sort of screaming and flailing and crying and this whole sort of dramatic performance. And it just made you wonder that if that's what he does on camera, you know, what is he like when nobody's looking? Yeah. And, you know, at one point, Gail tells him, you know, Robert, Robert, I want to have a conversation with you. And he kind of calms down and he turns to her and says, I hope the camera's still rolling. And she says, yes, it is still rolling. But, you know, despite all of this, Renee, you mentioned that after the release of Surviving R. Kelly, streams of his music on Spotify. It, um... It's now 10 o'clock uh, the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting a whole lot more after the break architects draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it vj printing services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need we do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information call vj printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Good 
day driver, you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you, give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132, email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Larvin Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles. FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Oh my God, a very interesting heating up kind of show tonight. And um, you just heard yeah. an interview. Um, is it CBS? Yes. From CBS. And again, we do not claim any rights to that interview. Um, Let's see what Lisa is saying. Wow. Lisa says... They have a thing for black men in America now, not saying that they are all innocent. First, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. What happened to the white producers and others? It's a shame. Those mothers need to be put in jail. None of those girls were chained up. It's sad. What happened to the priests? And those young boys, mm, shake my head. Those tapes that come about now, where were those tapes all along? Yep. Um, interesting questions. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. One of the princi- Good night. One of the principles that I believe in is that I don't know. I, I've, I've, I've had mothers deal with that say, I don't know if my child is speaking the truth and I don't want to her to break up my relationship. Yes. And I get annoyed because put away the mother. When I sit and speak to a child, I want to believe the child over yeah. any adult. Yeah. I want to give the child the benefit of, of the doubt. doubt. Mm-hmm. And so it is ironic. And I listened to see if the gentleman or the man rather can explain why different females from different parts of the world Mm -hmm. are coming up with the same story. And I'm yet to understand his explanation. Mm -hmm. 
One other thing that I saw that was interesting is while he threw a tantrum, mm -hmm. he makes certain to ask, is the camera still rolling? It leads me to wonder, is this an act? Mm -hmm. And so it is troubling that persons of a certain status probably feels and get, and, and you know, I watched a, a documentary, ironically, just yesterday about a chief of, in a, in a, a faraway country, but he actually, he, he was a serial killer and rapist. He was like the commissioner of police, but back there they don't call him commissioner. And what happened is that the female died and he was the same, he was a part, the, the, the head of the department. And an old man passed an SUV under the window of the female the night before she was missing. Mm -hmm. And so they started to look at every SUV in that city. And he, because he drove one, they had to test his wheel also. The long and short of it is that when they called him in, the shoe print that they found at her back door was his. The long and short of it, they had a five-hour interview with him. And he confessed. And they could have found 67 underwear in his basement with other females that he raped and killed. Mm -mm. Now, let me go back to your story. I believe that when persons, I believe it's a sickness. Yes. And so when they get away with one, they feel like they can get away with two and three. And the easiest thing for these persons is to admit that they're having a problem and get help. Because mm -hmm. I do believe that something is going wrong somewhere. But, but so stick up in there, um, stick up in there. I think one of the problems is that many of them do not even probably know they have a problem or wish to admit that they have a problem. The latter is what I would want to believe. Because for you to steal, if you think you're a thief and you, for you to stop stealing, feeling lady cleo you have to first admit that you are a thief All right and so i think that's where the problem come in mm -hmm. because you're in denial and it's and because they get away with it and then we have to remember you know that money is power oh yeah and so persons tend to and i'm not saying i can't say he's guilty or innocent but i'm just saying that i prefer to believe these children as as traumatic as what he's going through, I prefer to believe the children. And one final point, and then return to what I said before. I just wonder, you're throwing a tantrum and you're upset and persons are lying on you. But you find the time to say, is the camera still on me? And got even worse when he learned the camera was still on. Precisely. <laughs> and so I allowed my investigative skills to assist me in listening to this team. And, and, and that was what jumped out at me. Is the camera still rolling on me? How do you, while you're going through, all that you're going through now, get the sixth sense to say, it? the camera still a roll? Yeah, why do you want a camera? I would, I would more want a camera to be off. Precisely. Isn't mm -hmm. this an act? And so these are just my, these are my personal views. Mm interesting program and i'll listen to your other callers thank you my darling you're most welcome uh, all right so we 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 listened um to that and um like dg said um it's not my call to say whether he is guilty or innocent but if i were to give my view then i find it very 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 difficult to believe that all these females are just cooking up a story about one of my favorite singers of all times. Yes, I love R. Kelly's music. And besides him being R. Kelly, now Robert is on the stand and he's taking all of this and all of that and we're hearing all kinds of things. I am having a problem believing that everybody out there who has spoken everybody and i see that there might not be one or two persons who are lying but i find it very hard to believe that they're all lying about these behaviors people out there are called misogynists 
and a misogynist categorize a person, a male, who likes to give massage. No, 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 no. I, I wish do. that word. I wish that were the case. Oh. So you have misogyny and misogynist, and the misogynist is the noun. Misogyny is the state. Which is an abstract noun. Okay, no English class now. I don't, All right. don't, so I don't, I don't run you. See? The, the misogynist is the man who has contempt for women or for women. Pre he's prejudiced against women or girls um, by means of social exclusion. Yes, sex discrimination. He discriminates against the female. Um, he shows hostility. Andros, androcentricism, which is um, that consciousness or otherwise um, placing the masculine's viewpoint at the center of his world. So, for example, you, Daddy Road, <laughs> if you are an androcentric kind of male, whatever you believe, your view, male's views overall, whatever it is that males believe, mm. is at the center of your world and of the man the man's world I'm and just a woman's view is never acknowledged never viewed as having anything meaning uh, as being anything meaningful so I'm a, it's I'm, all about i'm a misogynist i'm not saying that i'm saying you could be an androcentric kind of guy i'm not sure but <laughs> just, just troubling you he certainly is not and of course the misogynist is the one who believes that the male privilege must always prevail the male must have the final say yeah, he belittles women, he shows violence against women, and he disenfranchises women. I am led to believe that this could be a, a, a sickness that this person might be grappling with. I, 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 I want to disagree. We have a caller on that thought. We have a caller on the we, four or five. We have three. also done done. All right, coming, I, I, coming to you, Dan Dan. Yeah, Call on, on the four Dan. five three. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello, you're on Good air. Night. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the I'll tell you thing. I think I'm on the DD side where it's not for us to call that. To say it's hard for us to say yes. He did it and he didn't do it. Right. But there's a lot behind it. Yes. A lot. There's a I have four. I have four daughters. Yeah. But there's some things I look at, and I speak my with my daughters about this situation. A lot of these girls, a lot of them, I am living abroad, and I'm telling a lot of them to throw themselves at people for cars of cash. Yes. A lot of them, I'm not saying, but we gotta look how a lot of these happen. You can do one, you can do two. Is it because they did not get what they wanted? Mm -hmm. Is it factual? So there's a lot to look into. This is not a cut dry thing that. Right, I agree with you. Here. I agree with you. So it, it, even, even though it's in the law, it doesn't mean at the end of it, the law is going to be right. There's a lot that we don't know. Right. And it's only one man know, and it's only God knows. It's um, hard. I it's a, it's the thing. If everyone is crucified. It does. It, if it goes like that, it's not fear. But on the other hand, look at what this world, the movement with female going on with right now. Mm -hmm. That we got to take in consideration to right now. Things that we used to think was normal. Everybody thinks them to come out of normal thing now. The thing that a guy might do 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and used to be accepted. Now there's a movement that says that was not accepted. Me too, And movement. it's been twisted. We have to understand every word now being twisted in their own way. Yes. For want to be benefit from it, to bring down somebody. The only thing we can do, and I'm not talking about religion, but I'm talking about God, is to pray. We all have to pray and talk to God and let God prevail in this situation. Okay. Respect, brother. Where are you call from? We can't just neither nor neither. Repeat? No, I was just asking where you're calling from. Hello? Where are you calling from? Toronto. Toronto, Canada. 
Toronto. Okay. okay. All right, Carla. Thank you so much for your input. Okay. Appreciate yeah, it. Big up. Have a blessed man. You too, my dear. All right. All right. We have a caller on 954 as well. Hello, Dan caller. Dan. Dan Dan? Yeah. Yes, Dan Dan. You know, I don't know much about R. Kelly, per se. Yes. But little, little I know about him is that he he's, a, he's an artist who... Who, who pushes the envelope when it comes to um, the topic of sex. Yes. Yeah? All right. Now, <clears throat> um, like what DJ was alluding to earlier about um, successful people like Bill Cosby and so Yes. Look, man, successful black people, black entertainers. That was Lisa. It, it, that was Lisa, okay. not DJ. Huh? That was Lisa earlier. Yes. Yeah. That no, look here. That not take so kindly in in in, in America, even that it, that is two thousand million of men. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, worse, it's worse now when it comes to um, the sexual thing because um, there there is presently an onslaught going on in America against traditional sex. Is it? Yes. I want to tell you, sir. Back in the nineteen twenties, thirties, forties, when this um when this um they call it now they call they call birth prevention birth uh, birth control thing. Yes. Was first was first introduced in that time there. It was a means to reduce the the the, the, the reproduction of 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 the of the black female. Right. Also the black male too. All right, because because there are some famous people in our society, like the Rockefellers and them people, that would have said that that we are creating too many undesirables. Hmm. All right, you see, you see, you see in, the 19, in the 1930s when 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 Hitler was them say Hitler they want to have this um, special race, this Harry Aryan race or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, is the Americans come out and 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 and, and accuse Hitler of this? Um, you know, when then themselves were were were, um, were doing this, and part and part of this um, project was institute um, institute birth 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 control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. No. You see, if you see, if I kill her, I kill her. Did I, did I think about about gay sex and anything? That it won't get any problem, you know. <laughs> I don't know, joke thing, you know. I, I'm listening try, to you. <laughs> what I'm trying to show you, what, what I'm trying to show you is that is, is, is a change in landscape of America and, and, and when it comes to sexuality. Mm -hmm. You know, sir, which me never know, know this. My daughter at 12 and in a fire school, you see, the bathroom them is, they're all same-sex bathroom. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that mm -hmm. I tell you. All right. Um, <clears throat> there, 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 there are sixteen. There are sixteen mm -hmm. students in, in in each class from grade one to grade eight. Oh. Is it? Yes. And one teacher, the teacher from grade one, could I tell me, sir, in a every class, in a every class, there's a sixteen. I tell you, in a every class, there's at least one kid in a every class who. Who, who, who either identify themselves as 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 gay or act out as one? Mm -hmm. No, wow. you, you see that you see the average there. Mm. All right, so, and, and and they are encouraging this thing. Yes. All right. No scandal. No, you know you know almost congressman in the past thirty years. All right, undergo scandal. To deal because because them and deal with with um with with, with homosexual behavior with with um with with underage kids. Mm -hmm. See, how much time you about? You know you know you about them. Yeah, you don't. All right. In a, in, in a, this Me Too movement that was going on um after the Bill Cosby thing. All right. Couple of them couple of them celebrities there were 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 accused of of um um homosexual misbehavior with um with minors. Right. All right. And 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 then quickly, then quick, you know, you know, you hear about them again. Big big actor like like Kevin Spacey. 
You know, 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 of of um of of real you know real man man woman thing yes <laughs> the the after him is a rich hunt and plus him black um they're not so, after him as it relates to um homosexuality though so, so me just, me just, me just want to realize the, the real levels of work one in america for one i know say whenever america sneeze jamaica catch catch the cold yeah. You know, you, you know, one of the things um, that kind of bother me with this whole thing, and me not condone with, 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 with the behavior of any, of this, any person who does it. If, 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 if it is that these things are, are real, because it not sound one that, is, that, that would be a correct demonstration of, of, of being humane. Now, you have a thing when you have kink, right? If you watch a kink video, in my opinion, I'd be a kinky business, R. Kelly, would not go on with them, based off of what they might describe, what they might do, because when you see them chain up people and women have to bark like dog and all of them sitting there and then get some big liquid, some whip, and it turned them on apparently. And me not hear nothing now about them, the porn star, that we are, we, are, we, are, we are going with kink business and kinky this and kinky that. But what they are describing sounds like kink to me. Mm. So, so me kind of wonder, really, what they, if, 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 if so be it, what's the double standard? Mm -hmm. And then now, why now some of these things have come out? Because to me, it is reminiscent of O.J. Simpson. You just know them about yes. all him for something. Him shouldn't get away in the first place, then try plant gloves and try to them, them try that. So them say, all right, the brother, we're gonna hold him. Same thing with Cosby. Because there are a lot of things circulating around Cosby and him wanting to own a big network and them fight him with the only big network, and it's a one of the things them. Man like Samuel L. Jackson say, yo, all right, may I wait for Ono? Ono come. <laughs> right? Them try it what right. they know with Morgan Freeman. So you find say, there are a number of things we are going. But this a brother ya, him fi stop all about little pit them round him. Run them and them real, woman and them pupa. Stop all about them. Real talk. A careless business you should have learned from long time. You love too much veal, brother. If you <laughs> take some meat, okay, we have to pressure T some meat. Tenderize them. Right, we need yes. tenderizer. Put on the garlic and the, the tenderizer. Because enough of them, no matter where them are, 18. The, 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 the difference in thought between a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old yeah. yeah. is minimal. Sin and, and, and right. worse, you're a money dog. Right? right I was coming to that. And, and you well, sing about like, someone like, sitting. Like I say, I'm not going to sing about someone sitting. When I can't tell you, say, them the CD, they me benefit off of them the CD, they too. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, when you look on this man a lifestyle, and when my poetry, even kids growing up in a, in, in a them puberty age and start thinking about someone sitting and them exposed <laughs> to R. Kelly music by whatever means. Mm -hmm. Because film music, if you look on film CD, them, you know, it mark um, some restricted whatever, whatever business. So however, they might get to engage in an R. Kelly music. You should have known, say, boy, in my opinion, a parental misguidance right yeah. there, so. And then they become Zin? drawn to it. No, them drawn to him. A parent has sent them a, 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 a rope um, butter puss mouth. You know, R. Kelly, yeah. love a veal. What you send a pity to, to him for? He's a, he's a top producer, he's a top writer. All them are banning me now, and all them are dropping from record label. Some of the biggest songs in the world are this youth that write them. And we are dancing, and we are everything about them as songs. We just don't know say, I him write them. One time, I him and Babyface were the two top writers in the world. So, me I say, a lot of these things, when his brother I deal with him now, and no, I want to reach him now, he not have nobody to blame but himself. Yeah. Nobody come act out and a ball pan, 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 pan sitting about the camera and then sitting there. That, me, me done, me lose half of you with that straight up. That but looks staged like, to me. Like that's stage, you know? So, 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 sometimes in some situation, you, 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 um, it's, it's hard for you to, to differentiate what is staged and what is, and what is, 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 is real life, you know? True. But again, like me say, I don't know. Who wants to the video? I can't see the tone, you know, because it's a YouTube video. I'm having some. I can't see the tone here. I would be able to pick him up if somebody's from me, five people, and tell me to pick him up. I don't know anything about him. 
I don't know much about the music. Apart from, apart from my year, my year on a play, um, a couple of nights. So, oh, yeah, some man. Yo, me, me buy. No, me no, not no, talk no, about no, burn. Look here. Me buy I, every... Is, 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 maybe is, 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 I want R. Kelly's CD. Me might not have. Might not have. Me buy the whole of them. Is that is is R.B. artist, right? Yeah, yes. man. Yeah, yeah. Because me, 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 I don't listen to R&B. You're missing out, so, brother. So, so that's, that's, that's also one of the reasons why I probably wouldn't, 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 wouldn't know about him. All right. Um, le let me just say that a caller earlier on call and made a point about the fact or the possibility that um, some of these females could be fabricating stories or going to the extreme. Yeah. And I do agree. It's possible. I do agree that there could be those who are jumping on a bandwagon because they want a part of the pie because this is somebody who yeah. would have had some dough. Right? But then at the same time that rule also said when these parents come with their kids because they want their kids to shine. make it and to shine and we're better than to take them to the man who can get them uh, a record label or get them um, signed or something, mm. some musical contract or deal. So they bring their kids, these young girls there, all dolled up and attractive and pretty, knowing that this man, he is a typical man, could very well find this 16, 18-year-old very attractive, and then they leave them there in his care, Too much and then deal, complain, man. Irresponsible complain that. that but but he, listen, and I'm not condoning his behavior if he did whatever they said he did. But he, Mark you. Here's my but, issue. Here's my issue with all of this too. Come on, man. Here's my issue with all of this too. Of the amount of people with with, with the recurrent. Yeah. Um, situation. Yeah. Saying say, say boy, them link you with him because he's a good producer. Yeah. But now you know them woman here, boss. You should have seen red flag right there, so too. You, you, you should have known as a parent, so yo, you know, say so yeah, it might, it might be the top man. However, me not really have seen nothing a boss. I don't mean, know, something not, something not 100% budget. And then these but, girls but, but, just but, what? Get so indoctrinated and they just get... Well, not, no. Is a spell in that house or something? Mind control. I want it. Remember, I said they pick the two, you know. I want next thing that for true. Well, wait, one thing you have you know, you know, you know rude is that i'll see him i'll see money now you know he's gonna go into legal fees season, you know? yeah yeah so because he might he might exhaust him fortune in a liar's fees and and you know and once that is that is accomplished you know even even if him don't get convicted that 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 in itself would be a would be a victory victory the system so so i was asking you dan dan do you think that a part of this could be very well true where he did what he did, but then the system is just out to also get him? I really have no idea because I can't right. know much about but, the, but, but, the but, but, and, but, but here what I think, Selena. Yeah. Remember, you, know, you have many other great um, stars out there, both yes. Caucasian, blacks, etc. Yes. And them yes. the inner them are mix up, yeah. Right, why, Beca why beca yes. because them, beca because because them, them probably not, not, not liking for veal. So that may I say, right. no, even if somebody something them, what they must say about this, say, say, say everything what they must say about him wrong. Him have to hold himself responsible as well for some of them things what they must say about him because if you never get himself mixed up in a song, something. Your name would not yeah, call yeah, panic. No, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. You can't, you can't really blame nobody else. No doubt. You but see me? I, so, I, him have to hold up himself and, and, and again, responsible again, for some of them things. Mark, you know, I can't start this. Take him, you know. However, yes. history is repeating itself yeah. on his brother right you now. It's, it's, him. It, it starts from the, the, the accusation with Alia. Just like what DG said, the man get you one time. And they think it's okay. He should have known in himself, say, yo, you know, something I'll go over there, so Dan Dan at 10 30 here. Yeah, man. Cool. All right. Thank you, Dan Dan. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Mm -hmm. 
Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Me burn and go as a farmer man, yeah. The Rural Agricultural Development Authority, Portland Parish Office, presents our annual open day under the theme Climate Smart Agriculture, Building Livelihood While Protecting the Environment. On Wednesday, March 20 at Folly Oval, starting at 10 a.m. Come view displays and make inquiries of Rada Portland Parish Office, Prada Larceny Prevention Unit, National Land Agency, High Pro Feeds, Delta Supplies, Ag Chem Plant Limited, H. NL Agro, Person, and many more. Take advantage of farmers' training, farmers' market, plants, jams, jellies, and wines made from locally grown produce. Lots of giveaways, fun games, prizes, and surprises. Admission free. Please remember, if you eat today, thank a farmer. Rada Annual Open Day, Wednesday, March 20, at Folly Oval, starting at 10 a.m. Be there. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the ALS present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour, Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Madness. I said D.I.B. gone crazy with the March Madness sale event. I said every day this month gets super low prices on select items such as steel, cement, PVC pipes, ply, metal doors and a whole lot more. Get $5,000, yes, $5,000 off a ton of steel. Sheet of ply for $3,005. Cellotex $950. Cement $1,090. Metal doors $10,995. And PVC water pipes for only $550. $50. Me say all month long, my child. TIB March Madness Seal Aguan. So visit or call them at 607 2472. DIB, them do March Madness best. Madness, madness, I call it madness. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, a rather interesting topic, um, topical issue here. We're discussing the Hercules saga, can I call it that? Um, and persons are of the view that he is innocent and the system is trying to get him because he's a black man. And some are of the views that this man is actually guilty of the charges and is simply just staging his reaction on this particular interview. Um, like I said, I am not able to call it whether he is or is not, but based on all that the author has presented and based on my ability to draw conclusions and to read between the lines and to make inferences, it does not look very good. 
And again, to some of the parents, them for true, too, licky licky, and nyami nyami, and they want big boss for them children so quickly without putting in all the work. And they go to the side door and the back question. door and the whichever door to get the deals done quickly and at whatever cost. M- and then they m- bar. I have a question to ask you mm-hmm. and by default the listeners. Somebody ever tell lie upon yet? Yes, man. Oh, gosh, man. And then no, when they want oh, somebody gosh. tell the lie, somebody else take you up. And run with it. And run with it and even balloon it. Yeah. Till it start become the truth. The truth, yeah. Till all you have to wonder to yourself, I really made that. Reach this so. Reach this so. Yeah. That has happened to me. Right? Me can't tell you no And say. to this day, I despise the person. Me go through it. Yeah. Right? People hear one thing from a, from, from, from a source. They don't know whether they, or it doesn't matter whether the source is credible or not. Or not. But once it sounds bad, they run right. with it quickly. Yeah. yeah. And take it up. Carry it. Go elsewhere. Elsewhere, mm-hmm. take it up. Balloon it. It's a terrible feeling, I swear. Right? White left you for you. You know what I do them all the time? Me no say nothing. Me no give them no audience. Me no give them no form of recognition. No form of. I want my wife Comfort. call you again. No, she have a, Oh, no form of relevance. Me no give them no relevance. Must make them chat and then 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 chat. Till what? Then you talk. Fade out. Fade. I'll leave it at nine months. <laughs> it just fade out. Right? But it still hurts, you know. It hurts. Of course it does. It hurt bad. Of course it does. Because I've forgotten it. But when I do see that person, I remember and I, my despise just go up a notch. Seriously. Can't help that one. Because yeah. it was a crucial, wicked lie. Deformation of character kind of lie. Mm-hmm. I just, I, 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 I can't and, cope and, with and it. And you have those people out there, you know. Crazy man. It doesn't matter what. It's like them just want to see you fall. Fall at any cost. You know, they want yeah. to see you fall and them talk and them say one lie start today when that are feared, then start one next uh-huh. one. When mm-hmm. that are feared, they start one next one. Just trying, in my opinion, to keep themselves relevant mm-hmm. at the peril of somebody else. Somebody else. It's pathetic. You know? And then you start to wonder. Can't anyone else see that something just not right? right? Yeah. But let's see what the WhatsApp. Um, yeah, peeps are saying. Yeah. Um, two eight four says hi. I'm um, from Brooklyn, New York. I don't know what Bright Eyes Bright Eyes saying, but let me say something. <laughs> I'm Jamaican living in America. Half the stuff you don't get. But why does he like young girls? To me, why young girls, he, he is, is sick. sick. What DG said, respect officer. He is sick and he is a controlling man, I guess. I would like to meet you guys. Um, I originate from St. Thomas. All Fan right. Fusion. Pick up yourself. Come to Fan Fusion, July 13. 13, Saturday that is. Yep. You so meet all there. of us. Uh-huh. Parishina, I want to meet you too. Um, this topic is not for Bright Eye. <laughs> All right, let's see what Kimoy says. Um, bless Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Kimoy, hype fans member, sunning ill. Yep. Locked in. Good to have you on board. Real talk, loving the discussion, guys. All right, good night. Going out to DG as well. All right, big up yourself, hype fans of styles. Lisa is saying, well... Now the most kids, most kids now are gay or bisexual boys. Boys just like girls going to school and it's nothing. It's not king, it's cult. Wow. Um, and you know, as, as she said that, one of the issues I found is that um, on, on forms in school, some schools, they have male, female, and other. <laughs> and I really... I, I, I am lost for words with that one because you're confusing the kids to figure out if they're not male. The, the last time I, I checked, we either had male or female. <laughs> but then these kids from as young as, um, what do you call it? It's mid-school. They're being now forced to figure out. My girl, let me tell you something. Their, Every, what everybody, their sex is. Everybody can have rights. 
And nowadays, everybody want to have rights. Everybody want to have a say. Everybody say, oh, it's my life, so I can. Mm. You know what I mean? Just left everybody to judgment, you know? So you think, you know, God just judge all and, and do him for doing all you know? that. So the thing said. 219 said, this guy knows what he's saying. And I think he was referring to Dan Dan earlier. All right. Um, <laughs> who else we haven't heard from? DG says... Oh, yes. And uh, you were saying only God alone, no? And I was saying in my mind, R. Kelly knows too, the truth. And <laughs> DG concurs. Men must walk away from children, even if they throw themselves on them. And I 100% stamp that one. I do not condone any man telling me about, oh, girl, throw themselves at you and pick me. Throw themselves at you and you fall away to them. Look here, man. Stand for something or you're going far for anything, man. Put Pitney at them place. I know that no local Pitney can't throw themselves on Daddy Road. Mm -hmm. I know that there's no local Pitney who can't throw themselves on Cassidy. And I know there are several other men out there who I can vouch. No local Pitney can't come to them, come say, eh, and ray, tay, 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 and show them and want to try. No. But you have some weak, rare men out there who think it is okay to really? do what they do because. They, they threw themselves at them. No, man. Fire for you. Jailhouse for you. Straight. No apology. When it's a rear, what do you mean? I can't call the word. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Claire. This is Marvin. How you doing? Hi, Marvin. What's up? Um, about, about, about what DJ is saying and you guys saying about that, that teaching a little better... Not to be messing around with the young girls. You know, what I've come to realize, in America, people really don't care what you do, right? Yes. Because at my job, we have different locations. And one of the locations, there is a 24-year-old gentleman there. And we had a lot of young girls in high school, you know, 15, 16. And he know their age. And he still go around, and he's still trying to sleep with them. Yeah. Some of them, you know, because they're in high school and they want, they, you know what I mean, they want their hair done and the nails done and fly, flashy things to go to school. Yeah. And they actually, they actually sleep for the guy for money. Mm. And they know, they know that the guy's 24 and they know they're 16 and they're still keeping up with this guy. You know, a lot, a lot of these girls here in America, they want to be good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No matter you tell them, hey, this is wrong, this is, you know, don't do this, don't do that. You just want to be wrong. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't talk to them. You can't say, hey, this is wrong, da, 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 da. Because from my understanding, this girl is saying she's grown now, she's 60, she can't do what she want to do. Oh, it's her my life. God. You see, stuff like that. And then when they end up getting pregnant and these guys leave them, then they wonder why. Hmm. I mean, this whole R. Kelly thing. As you say, I believe some of these people may be overdoing things. Yeah. But I don't think all of these girls are killing life. I don't think so either. I really don't. Some of them, yes, but I don't think all of these girls are killing life. Yep. You know what I mean? And you, you know, you're a big person like that. You're in the rap business and, you know what I mean, stuff come like that. That's the stuff you should actually keep yourself far from. Because, you know, you out there like that people know you. Yeah. How if a girl come to you with that kind of thing. You should never run the month and hey, I'm not into that. Yeah. But I guess it's only should this one. But I I don't know, there's something up with that though. I don't I really don't think most of these girls are telling you know what I mean, telling life. All right, Carla. Thank you so much, Marvin. All right. Thanks for sharing. Respect. Um it's you, sad you, you it's know, sad that the young girls have you know, reached a place um, where they need to seduce uh, okay. and try to Dan Dan. Impress men for money. Dan, a long time thing that man. It's sad. How much time you try to trick man of your life? It's, excuse me? How <laughs> 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 many times you try to trick girls with cheat tricks in the navel and all these things? <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's an then try to trick me. <laughs> Look. Oh boy. Um, Dan Dan said something since earlier and it just had dawn on me. And uh, my thoughts are very provocative right now. How can you be in a classroom, right? And pretty much one in 15, as I said, is either gay or has the tendencies. Mm -hmm. Act it out, yeah. What 
is a definition of someone being gay? I, I would presume from what we understand that a male who acts effeminate... Is it an act? Because how can you act that way and then you become, and then you are categorized as that? Are you sure that's what... Well... Because I, let me tell you straight up what me I think. Mm -hmm. Because all me learn it is that say, if you are that, you are doing the act. Right, right. No, if you're a child and you're categorized as, as that, what is happening? Doing the act, possibly. We need to look into this thing. Yeah. Hmm, real talk. He says something and it's kind of uh, it in my head. Oh, you figure how kids are going to say they are that. What made them are come to that conclusion? Come to that conclusion that they are that. How did that child learn of that and of their behavior being that of that? Mm -hmm. And accepting it as and is. accepting it that they are within a mm. category yeah. of um, sexual orientation. No, no, sexual orientation so you are still you are still engaging you are still male and you are still female, female. we're not talking about him say other you know yeah if you say other that means say you must be of a different orientation of biological right um make, make. so that is something where people need to look into keenly Something not right after so. Mm -hmm. Something not right. Me know enough youth or enough female would have said boy them have a um, female and I said boy them them a tomboy. Mm -hmm. They never say them a lesbian. Them a tomboy because them act punky Bruce style. Mm -hmm. Right? And but, enough, but, no, enough boy play Jackson, blah blah blah, mother give them Dali or whatever it is, and them say boy, well, you know, a girly, eh? but they never them never used to say them a Okay. That so how is it that yeah, no? I see your reasoning. I see, your, and I totally agree with you. So but, right. But in the broader scope of things, where there are people <laughs> who will just willy lily use the term, not understanding what you have just explained. But then there are persons who will say, because the person acts this particular way, because this male acts effeminate, and because this female acts masculine, then he or she is quote unquote gay. There are people who will use that terminology and the person is not necessarily, if at all, engaged in the act. Mm -hmm. So how do we cater now? Because you do have people who do that. Yeah. And based I, on I, your explanation... And I, may I say, at their level, how do you, at your level, without being taught that, tell yourself... Okay, that you are. That you are. Yeah. Because you don't reach, in my opinion, that sense of development yet. But, to but, know. But, but, but hold on. I, I, um, the culture there is a different one from what we have here. Because while it is that here, you find the general masses is somewhat homophobic. Yeah? And we do not teach our children, oh, you're male, female, or other. Their culture is so different in that children as young as ever... Is feel it, that sense of it, it's okay to are, choose are, are you which sure, orientation you want to be. Are you sure that it's a culture? Why have you asked the question? What made you ask it in that way? Is it a culture or is it the, a movement? Oh. oh I, I think I'm going to go with movement. I am more of thinking that it's a movement yeah and it's a powerful a very powerful movement, movement yes so i think we still need to go back to that and maybe ask the movers of the movement, movement. Mm -hmm. to rethink how they want to categorize these kids because by growing and the definition mm -hmm then it would suggest that those kids are engaged in an act. Uh, because at certain age, 
at certain age, mm -hmm. you're not at puberty. Right. So how do you? I don't know if kids feel that way. That it, if they feel that urge and that liking or that whatever it is. And I, I don't know if those particular ones do, but I know that it's possible for a male to feel like a female within himself. His body operates. At that age. At any age, it's possible. So, but, but what would that make you? Boy, it mentally gay? I don't think, I, I can't agree with that. I can't agree. We probably need to find something else, but I can't agree with that notion. You know, I think it, it, it is possibly being forced upon them. Yeah, I was about to say, right? to you, is it that they are giving them the freedom to say, okay, say, <laughs> it's feel what their you freedom. want. They have but, a, but then they're no, pushing it out there No, them. remember now, if you give them a freedom to feel what they want, how, at what point do they determine that this over there, so this meaning over there so is how I feel? Boy, I don't know, you know. I don't know. You know, because it, it, it leaves a lot of questions in my mind that, all right, we grow up and we are nooks marble and we are this and we are that, right? You know, all we know is, yo, right now, oh, the board of rub coming off touch me. That are because of how we grew and we and culture socialize, and yes? socialize. And that's so what it come from, you know. So maybe it's the same thing happening there where no, the socialization no, is. No, no, no. If how this particular child, because all the way, yes, so be sure all the way did have one brethren or one sister. I sit with a tomboy or one brethren, we're, we're going like him a girly. And when he grow big, he have the most girl. <laughs> right? Could so, it be what society teaches or puts out there for, they, the, they for the public to, 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 they, to hear and to read and to learn from? Then it may I say. Is it that you categorize them and then mentally, just like what we're saying, you know, the brainwash, where, 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 where they might always say, Kelly, I brainwash the big picnic, because you know, we're calling them big picnic. We have a caller on right? five. five. Hold that thought. Good night, caller. Welcome. Good night. Good night. Hey, that road. Road. Yeah, hold on the Dan Dan. Go ahead, well, caller. Welcome, Larry Road. Hi, it's clear, clear. Hi. What's going on, Artil? Hey, there, man. I'm trying to tap it late, but. Um, I never fully hear it, but um, is it that um, R. Kelly involved in any getting to? No, 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 no. no we're not answer that. No, that's not what we were getting at. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, um, you dropped in late. Late. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, so keep well, on listening. Okay, the other, no, the other thing um, I want to ask is, um, could it be why these children involved is because of genes? Because, I mean, uh, it's like actually invoking uh, them to actually um, feel in uh, the, 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 the mood and they, they go both ways. Some of them might be genes, yes. And um, I don't know what the others are. The others maybe just hear about it in society and feel that they might just want to try this thing or want to become this. But there are some, some who, will, who, who will experience um, hormonal changes and differences, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I think so. I think so. And, um, because, I mean, it, it is so distressed by many other, other, um, other, other, other youngsters. Yes. Uh, even in school, you know. So I work at a school. And it, 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 so I don't know it really happened. It's, it's a genes and then it flew by the emotions. Yes, some of them, and then some of them, there are other variables that causes them, other variables that cause them to, to go that route. So if they are seen it practice somewhere and they adapt the principle. And maybe the reasons, the, the results of getting engaged in something like that, they might find themselves wanting to achieve material things, so they go that route, some of them. I do find some children in high places. I mean, high, high places, children... High category people, children, does it? Is it they learn it from social media? How? Yeah, some of them experimenting too, and want to see what this is all about, what it is like. So many reasons that cause them to get there, though. So many reasons. So, yes, so many reasons. Uh, yeah, yeah. That wrote a man, a man, thief, my things and call police for me. 
Fajon na baj sa Oh Lord. <laughs> All right, Alex. Respect, Thank respect. you for calling. Dan Dan on the nine five four. Yeah. Hey, that rule. You. Here's a question. At 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 all right, at what age you had your first girlfriend? My first girlfriend, um, what, what is a girlfriend? What do you mean? Which part are it? Well, first base or second girlfriend? base or third base? I don't know the base then. The first, the first, the first girl you love and, 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 and no. Anky Panky? Yes, yes. I beat you, I'm get. <laughs> eh? eh? I beat you, I'm get. So eh? You, I'm get beaten. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You see me? <clears throat> if you ever thought that mommy good on my yard. I would, I would have my first girlfriend at eight years old, but I'm mean, not turn grade three. What? See? Yes. Oh my god. Yes, I mean the class, the class don't know the the the, the world class knows a <coughs> men's girl, like boyfriend girlfriend. All right. When 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 we bring them, we have a thing called do as I say. Yeah, when them, when them, and when them catch me without that, that do as I say, the mother say wait. The mother wait, wait, wait until me in her presence and say kiss, whomever. Uh huh. All right. So, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not engaged in, in any, in any, um, sexual activity. Oh. But. Okay. No man, Mister Girlfriend, me, 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 me not say sexual activity. Uh, all right, sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't get twisted now. So. So, so at at that point, and even before then, you would have known that you know, say, a girl had you as a, as a man. No, by the same token, when you when you when you not third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, you must have seen some seen some you to you know, Alan do a place scotchy and and and, and, and them thing there. No, no but that no them them turn, them turn, them turn, them that, that never mean that. that. Dan, Dan. They, no. Yeah, that time I wouldn't think uh, yeah. that. Because I used to play scotchy. I used to play football. I used to play scotchy with with with, with no, um no, no, with, with no, Keisha and Dan them and Claudia. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, back in our time, I don't think we saw it as oh my, that boy acts like a girl. No, He's... but 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 it, it, it was it wasn't just that. It, it, it was just just the word demeanor. Them just. No, sir. Them I didn't just... see those in my time. I'm sorry. I didn't see them in oh. my time. Okay. Well, all right. You see, you see, you see when me na first farm, I teach me. Me, 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 me know or or could have identified three youth. We know how them tenants tenants today. Then and in a, in a them adulthood, in a them adulthood. Yes. It, they would have been confirmed as 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 exhibiting them them lifestyle, living them lifestyle. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So when when I said to you that the, that, the, that the first grade teacher could have, could have say that at least one person in every class identifies that as that is that is 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 what is what they're seeing. No, I mean, hey, granted, you know, them, them them could have turned around five years from now. We don't we don't know. Mm -hmm. But as it, as it stands now, at at age eight, nine, ten, eleven, or whatever the, the age uh, um, is, yes, that is what she, that is what she's seen, and and she I, and she would identify them as. As of the other, me go, the gun, gun, gun the other side. Dan, Dan. Wow. Yeah. Me go say something to you. It's a pity I one minute to eleven, but me I tell my wife a couple of weeks ago. I me ask her because she's 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 Christian, Zane. And sometimes I say I so she say. <laughs> me ask her if she believe in evolution. You know, it's, it's a wrong set of people if you ask that question, right? Because mm -hmm. they don't believe in evolution. But me say to her, I say. Believe you me today that evolution is taking place in front of our eyes. We just don't recognize and identify with it. And I think that is what is happening in us now. The whole genetic makeup, mm. right, of, mm. uh, you, you see, the, the ratio we, 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 uh, we say is, is an alarming ratio, and it could even be greater than that, mm. right. right? Because you probably have those who them parents now invoke them something there. In a them and tell them, boy, yo, you know, say, might like that. But mm. evolution, in my opinion, right now, is dictating why some are more and more females are acting masculine and more and more males are acting feminine. Evolution, that may I say right now. 11 o'clock. We, so, we got to a break. We're so forward. You want to link me back? No, I'm coming back, man. All right. 
The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Catch the showdown. Social commentary. Tune no, for tune. No, no, I no ice cream sound. E Edge, your love with a love song. All happening. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the play. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk mm. and a very sassy. All right. Ah, boy, savvy. Ear, ear, discussion earlier. Hear me look, man, with this evolution thing, right? Because it is easy for me to accept, right? Because I have, have lesbian sister, and I me know say, me didn't know a youth when I did a uh, Westmoreland, right? Mm. In ID, but we know it. You see me? Boy, I love fast care and all that stuff. I say, you, 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 you nah know, me have a situation where I love him off like, whoa, I'm from, she, from that surface. You and see me? love died? Yeah, and every, everyone that we love off the girl, and the one man where she like. <laughs> 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 they were already fair away. Oh my goodness. You know? How ironic. I, I, 
And the brethren still are right now, if you see him, see him, we are hear him up and link him up. You see what I say? But right now, when you look upon the world, enough of the little things that we are surfaced upon social media. Me, certain in myself, a youth will never do well in a bio, but like a common sense. <laughs> dog can't like foul, and you have to dog and foul. Dog not supposed to like puss, and you have to dog and puss. You have to monkey and all kind of other things. And if you say monkey, and, 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 monkey and gorilla. But you see, humans see? and goats and pigs. No, that part of their beastality for a long time. See? <laughs> <laughs> but I talk about genetic makeup. When, 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 when I go up on the ark, it wasn't like that. The right? animals went in two by two. Right. One man one and one woman one. In order, in, in order to have multiplication. Yep. Right? And no, me I say, you yeah, 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 find say, animals are find liking in other animals for a moon. It's evolution. Evolution. Right? Because I remember you know, evolution come about of survival of beings, you know. Right? We don't know what's gonna happen in the next fifty years from now, what things will be like. Yeah. Right? We don't know where the, and, and and naturally we prepare ourselves to survive. Right. By whatever means. By whatever means. This thing uh, this thing I never start just yesterday, you know. Remember they say honeycomb rock. Mm. Right? A rocks were from the sea. If you're going to some high, high hills in Jamaica right now, a honeycomb rock up there with soldier crab. All who want to go up a, up a way in rural hilltop, go there, so go to Opel and them place, Kensington and them places where they way up, honeycomb rock, and higher than this up in the hill with Opel and the coconut them. Honeycomb rock. Why? Something did go on millions of years ago. So we don't know what we are prepared with self. Maybe right now, we don't know. Maybe there has to be a switch. Maybe there will be a revolution. Right? Maybe there has to be a switch between the dominant being and... <laughs> That's scary. <coughs> well, we have to look at the thing logically, you know. Because if a 15 to 1 in one classroom, the possibility is, is, is that one of them has the tendencies or is that. The part where me you not know, like is the part where them, where them term them as that because when they term them as that, it, me, it, it suggests to me say, that they, these kids are engaging in sexual act. And the mm -hmm. part they may not like. And that makes me fret because I start thinking about child pornography and all kind of sitting. Yep. And that not right, none at all. None at all. No matter what orientation they be at. Right. So right. we have to protect the pit in them, no Real matter talk. what. Protect Real the pit in them, no matter which part of the fence then they protect the pit in them. Real right? Talk. Them brain. And them body has to be protected. Mm -hmm. You see me? But believe me, people, when dogs start like foul and puss and dog agree, look for the sign them. Remember me telling you. Know? Real talk. Mr. If I find one big bullfrog I sent me already. Oh, don't go there with me now. One I big old bull... I can't continue this. Mr. One video. Me, no. Me never want to see, see the video. No, I don't want to see that video with no, no bullfrog. No video, one picture. Me don't want to see that picture none at all. You, you see, Cassidy? Cassidy don't laugh. The bullfrog. What? Anything with crab and bullfrog. Anybody from St. Mary? Me. More I know if I true. We are not even going to go on that topic. We're right? leaving this topic right now with this revolution, like transformation, evolution story. Right. And we're going to a different We're going to Vox Pop. We're yes. We're going to Vox Pop, Sean. Yes. So tonight, people, because <laughs> my skin starts on cool, me no, I tell you. No sure it's big old me frog. No, you're not showing me no frog. None at all. So the Vox Pop for tonight, Cassidy. Um, here goes, ladies and gentlemen. Relationship versus ownership. <laughs> you own the man, you own the woman. Which is it? Would you allow your partner to be the dominant character in your relationship? If it is that you would allow the man to be the dominant one, or men, will you allow the woman to be the dominant one? Explain to us why you say so. Do you believe that when you are in a relationship that your partner is now your property and vice versa? Explain why he or she is your property or, oh no, explain why not. What does this statement, me statement mean to you? You're mine till the end of time. You are mine mm. till the end of time. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. All right. So there you have our Vox Pop for tonight. Quick, quick, quick. We're going to run through. Please feel free to call us on 
453-1444-876 before that for the local line or 954-338-7973. So would you allow your partner to be the dominant character? For me, honestly, I not think I want it to be a case where I allow the, <laughs> ma- the man, I'm going to allow him to be the dominant or he should allow me to be the dominant. I think both of us, I believe in equality and I believe that both of us should respect each other's views and if we have something to say or to do, no, we, sh- no, 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 we share no, no. and we do respectfully to each other and with each other. We can't analyze, nobody needs to be the dominant person over me. And neither do I need to be the dominant person over anybody else. So it's an equal no, thing. No. I mean, you know the dominant no, something. Sorry. No. What dominance mean? No. Leader, ruler. Well, Why do you need to rule me? Am no. I out of line? Am I out of order? Hold on. In everything, right? There must be a leader. I what? can lead too. Hold well, on. No, hold well, on. Listen, you must understand the thing, you know. I understand it. Whilst there's a leader, you must also have a manager. So I'm the manager and he's the leader? Yeah. So I must manage and he will lead? Yeah. So, so I so, can so, manage wh- him while he's leading? So, <laughs> the leadership, mm-hmm. you lead the people, but there must be somebody managing and organizing. Remember, no, the leader no, is the one who would motivate and stimulate. And the manager, you are the manager now would ensure that the people are fed, they are taken care of. So you yes, say, May the helper, in, in other words. <laughs> I'm saying you're the manager. May the helper. You're the manager. So, no, so you see, that is right? it now. I no. want us to be a co-owner. <laughs> we are co-owner for this thing here. The two are we are, then, are lead and then, the two are we are manage. No. So me, manager and assistant manager, no. well, leader and assistant leader, remember something no. like well, that. Well, remember, well, I, 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 me, me, let, let me make it a little bit. No, sir. A different Dominance scenario. Nothing, man. Right? One artist mm-hmm. is a leader. And they have a manager to manage the business of the artist. Hold on. If you have an the, artist... The manager is not the helper. Hold on, man. If you have the an ma- artist the, well, not, who the, is playing... The, the, ma- is, the, well, not, the manager is ensuring, say, all the artist does. Listen up. That's different, It's man. music. That's different, Zin, man. Um, nurture the talent. Zin, Hold on, man. The manager ensures, say, the artist financials are being cared for in bills of pay in family to care of, Hold right? on. Let me ask it, you a question. In reach a studio and time. Let me ask you a question. In bookings up. The dual role, the, the dual, the duo, the duos, IT and Fancy Cat, mm. yeah? Have a manager. Do we have, yeah, hold on a man. IT and Fancy Cat, without mm. one you don't see the other. Mm. So without me, you don't see him. Yeah. Without him, we not going to work together because there's no me. Mm. So if there's no me without you, I know you without me. How is it that you going to have one as manager and one as something else? Both of them are remember walking now. side. Hold on, Hold on. Remember they now. walk side by side, remember my now. youth. Remember now, without, without the artist or without the talent, you won't need a manager. What well, I said to you is, me talking about the fact that me and the gentleman, the gentleman and the female, mm. they're working together side by side. It's a duet. I'm going to share something it's with you. It's a duo. Well, I'm going to share something with you now. Me, uh, of course, it's a duo. So, but remember one can't be dominant over the other one. We're working together. Well, and you are missing thing. No, I'm not missing thing, Mario. Because, because, because no, me, no. Me, me no. understand about the word dominant and I eat a joke, you know. Joke me bad it, feature, Right, man. I eat the word dominant. What are the sort of things set? Zane, because remember, you know, you can also be the dominant one. But at the same time, the man would have, I, I think God take on sort of the managerial role. And the sort of things set. So, me want you to give me your version of this dominant thing. No, we run things. You see me talking about me trying to tell you my youth. No. The two are we run things. No. The two are we run the thing. No. Kevin in Tampa, Florida. I have something I'm coming right now. What is te- um, Kevin saying? Not getting. First Corinthians 7 verse 4. What is it saying? <laughs> the wife doesn't have authority over her body. <laughs> but the husband does. <laughs> Likewise, the husband doesn't have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Oh, because me a wonder. The no management. Me a wonder. The no management. Do, look here. No do man. Work side I, by I, side. No, well, I remember. Side no. by side. Thank listen, you, Kevin. Listen, that is the management. That means, uh, one, I hear a body, but the management, I it. Which means, uh, right, I'm my body, I'm going to want sour sap later, you're going to look sour sap <laughs> juice, and, and me going to look sour sap juice, me going to look sour sap, and me planting sour sap, and you make the juice. And that's what the thing said. So, 
I'm tired. I want a vacation. Yeah. I want to go for a shop. Me Just work. give me the money. Yes. To go for a shop. Yes. No, we talking. Does that matter? Okay. All right. So you what Lisa saying? I mean, make sure, me make sure say. Don't 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 change it. No, me make sure say you get the right seat on the plane, right? Properly booked. If, if a hotel, a hotel, the right hotel, you don't get the five stars still, but you don't get the hotel <laughs> same way. Aye. And I saw the thing set. I, 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 and where will you be? Me? Yeah. But they are here and enjoy myself, man. road. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to send me away. Yes, man. Respect each other, Lisa says, but no leader. <laughs> Remember each other is a human being, not an animal who you have to lead. No leader over here for me. That's right, Lisa. No, we una, work together. No, we not think about the term too strong. No, it's a strong term, uh, my love. It's a strong it's a very term. Strong but we not think about the thing too strong. Mm -mm. Right? Hey, let me tell you something. More time, my mom's a reason. I said, Mom, they don't say all we are going. Are you the aggressor? She said, eh, you only allow certain things. So <laughs> we know. Oh, all the, all, all the things for work. But you know, at the end of the day, you guys end up just saying, you know what? Let her take the lead. Yeah, we know we know war over we know we know war argue over things. Remember saying that there are certain things that daddy would have done you well and you well you know. <laughs> 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 So would you allow your partner to be dominant? Daddy Rude <coughs> says he wouldn't, but I know it's otherwise. No. Karen is the one who leads the family. He makes all the provisions. Yes, man. He's a good, you well, he's a good husband. Listen. Very good father. But Karen calls the shots. Listen, no, listen. It's not. Are, you, are, you, are you disputing that, sir? I'm going to dispute Are it. you disputing that, sir? I'm, yes or I'm no? Gonna, well, I'm going to explain how it works. <laughs> he's going to explain. Right? Okay. In a forward thing. <laughs> right? With certain things, I she run that. Uh -huh, and certain things you run that. And certain things I mean run You see? That. Equality. Right? Balance. No. That means talk about. No. Balance. No. When it come down to, say, you know what to me now, what I'm mm -hmm. in a light apart about it. <laughs> me <laughs> really, me really like that. Me I think about it now, you know. Something dominated when, you? He, no, man. When she <laughs> depart, my turn to leave. And me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> After comes a boom, son. I don't mind the part where I pick up my daughter uh -huh. from school and, and them things. You know the part I like? Which part? The part where I've got to tap a supermarket and I've got to buy this and I've got to buy that. I said, John, that's so much money mom spend, man. That's <laughs> so much money mom spend. I don't want to work here. I said, as in my turn to leave, done. I'm ah, glad, I'm ah, glad, I'm ah, glad, I'm ah, glad, I'm ah, glad. That work there, you manage and you lead that work there. I don't want nothing oh to do with goodness. that part there. Right? I don't have a problem if I go left, you know, and go pick up a little one. <laughs> but the part, you know, I don't want, I never like the part. Because I find, say, for me money, I go down too quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Lord. You Blessed. keep that. Blessed good night to Mom Sharon. Sharon locked in. Real talk. Good to have you. Good to have you. That's Kimoy's mom. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, back to the Vox Pop, Cassidy. Remember, the phone lines are open. Feel free to call. Listen. Um, would you allow your partner? Listen, is it relationship versus ownership? Would you allow your partner to, to be to be the dominant character in your relationship? There, there, no, there is no need for that. Sometimes. You don't need to dominate me. So, see, listen. In some, no, listen. some things you're doing, you wouldn't want the maid to take charge. Me, yes, and vice versa. But me, me, me tell you generally speaking, no, man, we, we control each other, me man. Tell you something. Control ourselves and we share with each other. You mean. see, you? We are trouble, you know. We see, say, you? Oh, Lord. We see, we see say, you? You, you, let me tell you, you, you want like a mushy mushy man. No, 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 no. I don't want to walk over. No, 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 it's a mushy mushy Don't profess to know me, my you. Walana, Walana, but me not, what, me not, but me not done it. Don't tell me what you deserve. Oh. Give it for you. <laughs> 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 so, a coop is coming your way now. I feel it. I sense it. A coop is coming your way. Work for it, brother. Work for it. You know, I'm a billionaire, sir. Let me hear what I deserve now, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Is I want like, to hear uh, what I deserve. Is that his case? Yes. 
I don't want to get pressed by body. I'm going to heal, you know. I'm going to submit. No, I need to know who I deserve. Yeah? So well, you well, see how well you know me. Well, well you deserve a man now when I really take certain and certain talk, you know. Because you look like you love guitar. talk. <laughs> thank you, uh, Save by your call. Save by the call. Good night, call. Welcome Ta to Real Talk. <laughs> thank you for call. Come never really want to talk, my mind. <laughs> good night, caller. Good night, good night, good night. Yes, sir. No, Welcome sir. to the show. What go on? Yeah, enough respect to you and the crew and the I, um, Star Zephyr. Long Th time, I don't make a call, but. Thank you. Me up on, me up on the road earlier, I mean, I listen to everything where they go on. And yes. Say, I'm a Chicago one. I'm a Chicago one still. So I'm not really saying my name, you know? Yeah, that's all right. But a lot of things were what me a year up on the radio. We have to take a lot of things into consideration because when, when, you, when you reach to adult, you have to know certain things. Right. And, uh, Principle is what principle is one of them. Yes. And principle is a thing we can govern you because me as Jamaican and my parents me grow like that. So when you don't have principle then you can go out of line. True man. And true. For the for, for the R. Kelly thing, as a big man, I'm not really sorry for him, you know. Because if 20 young girls can come to you because of fantasizing that they can get ahead and get popular, then all you have to do is be their guidance and teach them and let them be ahead and be something else rather than take advantage of them. Real talk. Up to now, up to now nobody. None of these girls haven't been on top to say, I reach here because of R. Kelly and I can do this because of R. Kelly, except he demoralized them in every way that he can. Mm. So I'm not really sorry for him and the fake thing where he might go on with on the, TV, on the news. And everybody who understands if them have kids, then they should really think. Rather, rather it was the fact that parents send their kids to him. I would think that a lot of parents would want to say, okay, go on, maybe you get a chance to be something because this is an opportunity. And if it's something else, he should have he should have stand above it to say, no, I'm bigger than this. Mm -hmm. I want to help you to be somebody not let you be under my portfolio to where I can control you right. to hurt you. So yeah. I don't really support where a lot of people are saying. He's just a fool. And for all the money, and one of the greatest writer and singer. Yes. I live here in Chicago, and I know he have everybody across the board with him until the teenage girls come under the situation where he, they've been abused. Yeah. And I would, like, I would like to say this to everybody. Anytime you start abusing kids, your situation changes forever. Yeah. And it should be a lesson to everybody. Yes. It doesn't matter. Money don't matter anymore. Anytime you abuse teenager or kids, your life is gonna go down. You're gonna go down because you should know better. Right. And that's just how it is. Now, there are another thing that I want to talk about because the homosexual thing that I hear a lot of people are talking about on the radio. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that I grew up to be 57 years old. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Jamaica until I come to this country. I don't believe that it's grow into you 
to be an homosexual or a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Because if that was the situation, we would have known about it from we was growing up 50-something years ago. Mm -hmm. That is something that curiosity gets everybody to where they are, mm -hmm. to where they can't come back from it. Mm -hmm. That is just my belief. Because if it was meant to be, it would have been part of creation. It was not. Because I only, homosexual only become worldwide since I've been in my 18, 19, 20 until I become 57 years old. Mm -hmm. What happened to the years before what that? What happened to the years before that? <laughs> Where, where, where was it before then? In the closet. Well, that Daddy Roos is in the closet. I mean, if it was in the closet, then something, had, the door had opened, and now my own, everybody started to get curious mm. and fall into the wrong trap can't come back from it and i'm sorry and it's sad to say that the world is in trouble it is and it's only few, it's only few of us can see that All but right. the world is in trouble i and agree with I you brother thank you so to, much i don't know what i don't know what else to say just big up yourself and you too continue, continue preach the word and knowledge and understanding. We love it. All righty. Thank you, Mr. Chicago. Chicago. All righty. Big up, big up, big up, Chicago big up. say, oh, one love. All right, every time. Give thanks. All right. So, interesting views there. And... Real thing. Yep. Uh, we go to the text line a minute there and uh, we see Kimo. It says, some women don't act like their body belong to us. Sometimes they want to lock shop on us <laughs> thank you kimoy but some men also don't behave like their body belongs to us because they want to give it to mary jane and sue and everybody out there except giving it to the one woman they should be giving it to real talk hey hey all right no, the boy disagree, the, 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 the boy the says blessings as always locked in big up yourself the boy where have you been my brother daddy road why are you afraid to answer dan dan wife dominant wifey dominant <laughs> <laughs> bless up yourself too and blessings to our engineer from the boy our avid <laughs> listener to styles all right so we go back to the vox pop and we go to the other little part of it before we come up to that break do you believe that when you are in a relationship that your partner is now your property and vice versa manalai some of the time, a few of the time, minute number of times, I might feel like, oh, he's mine. And you don't want a girl trespass. And, but deep down, really, no. I don't think I own him. Mm -mm. And I don't expect him to think he owns me either. So, when a man say I feel something? <laughs> no, I feel something to the point where if we're together... And, yeah, we're sharing it with each other. Mm. So in that context, it's your something. But if it is that something goes wrong... I and still decide, feel something. No, if he decides to go because he find a new girl and him gone, am I something? Him gone with fear or something. No, you decide to leave me mm. and you're gone because you found a new girl. Mm. The something is mine? With something. Feel something. Feel something. If it's yours? Yeah. It's hers. You see my talk about? It's so hers. So how is it that if me, this, if him, if him gone out in business, my thing is his? No. No, man, where ain't gone? In, in gone it doesn't left you. matter. If you gone left okay. you. Okay. If you gone left you, you no response for your something. Now. You know, gone with your something. Keep it. Really and truly, you don't own, men, you don't own a lady's vagina. And, and, and ladies, and, you don't own you know what, 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 You know what? <laughs> 30. Which is right. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ <laughs> Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. We soon come back. 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Come back to the show. We have another half hour or so to go with you, so please feel free to call us or to text us as we go through the rest of the discussions. All right. Um, Gracie says, Lady Grace says, just like, oh, sometimes, oh, go to the first text, Cassidy, please, from Grace. She had a comment before that one. Um, Lady Grace from Outer Atlanta, Georgia. Always who is sinting Daddy Road, Uno Abaro. True. What is ours is ours. It's between our legs. We own it, so it's ours. Just like how sometimes you borrow, we borrow for Uno, yeah? When it's separate from we and Uno, have it in a Uno and then a few. So are you suggesting that you can do whatever you want with it because it's yours? What do you think I'm suggesting? I'm asking what you're suggesting. I want you to think. It's, you're going gonna, you're gonna to do pep. Me don't say you have to learn me don't, I mean, no, to draw your own conclusion well, no, and infer. I mean, I mean, no, so I want to know specifically all of the, if a multiple choice, me can't say the well, answer just clearly. From what I've been told as a pep teacher, mm. we don't we no longer give students um pour the teacup, pour the tea into the teacup. May I come and entrance pit me? No, no, no. You see that's 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 outdated now. Right, may I come you have to entrance. get with the critical thinking. So, so critically think it through yeah. and tell me what you think at the end of the show. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go to the Vox Pop. I so can't we're see. We're going back to the Vox Pop. Listen, I like to know, right? <laughs> when a woman I argue with a man over him things, when him give him things, why you argue with me? When us build? Because then I want to ask you is why do you guys go to the extreme of doing what you want to do, what you do when when the women give it, if they choose to give it away? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, okay. As one, as I saw one video once, you know, the man said, look here, man, the thing belongs to the lady. If God didn't want you to have it, that give you it. In the lady, it's a fear. Right. When give you, a for you. Yeah. Yeah? So I don't know why they're owning what is not theirs, what wasn't given to them. If something wasn't given to you, it's not yours. You don't own it. So, All right. at the time when we're doing intercourse, 
was right. happening at, at that point. They're sharing each other's things. In each other's things. Yes, ma'am. So that means when a woman say, um, what, what she say, well, well, when women normally go like, away alone and get something, when I get something too. Two. Right? Two. A As well. word. <laughs> I'll work with two. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you now no merit then in terms of making it look like a we alone a benefit. Because. But there are so many merits that you mentioned take and you all take something so, so, solely and wholly as law. Why is it that we can't take certain merits too? Is it, they, for example. Just... For example. Listen. When we say, my girl, bring me thing, come give me. Or you give me something. If you hold on, if 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 women never hold that thing, right, and say, boy, oh, I eat the thing we are gonna use for hook him, I know we hook <laughs> by it. There's no hook in there, right? We we are gonna feel automatically say we hook in a it. And it's the same way because... when you penetrate the ladies, they feel hooked. So why give it away then? It's the same thing then. Because when you hook us, well, we feel hooked <laughs> when... <laughs> when it's good. Don't. If it's good, they're going to feel hooked, yes. Yeah, no. So you don't want it to be given away. You don't want your borrow goods to be given away or to be loaned out. Do not loan out yours neither. It's a simple thing. There's a it's difference. It's simple mathematics. You see what I'm talking about, ladies? There's a difference. It's a simple mathematics. There's a difference. Remember, no, there's no difference. Give away, give away. No, remember. Let us learn out. Don't let it no. out. You know, you, you know, in, in reality, you know, it's not the something we're upset about. It's what? It's the fact that women always demonstrate a certain level of emotional connection when you go do that thing. Now, when you... You're overthinking when, things. Well, That's the thing. I'm critically thinking. <laughs> when you go give away that... Conveniently so. When, you, when, when, when a woman go give away that thing, it means that she has an emotional connection with another brother. You know what I mean? That's, that's and, debatable. And, and, and that is the part where we upset about. With that's another, the, that's another, debatable. Another, another thing for your, for your body. Is so it, obviously it, you want... I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay, but, 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 but arguing now. But with How we, do you know, want us to share? But with we now, you know, see? It's with we. We just, this year, no emotion. Oh, in no. You know Don't I mean? accept that, ladies. Well, that's yeah. crap. So, so a woman is supposed to feel no way. That's foolish, right? this lady. Yes, it's, it's because of bam and gate, so it is coming right. No, now. you get an attachment, you get hook. No. Into that thing. No, she know. She know. End up having that emotional connection. But somewhere along the it must go both ways where the toy you can have connection. You can feel her like that and you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, she is great. No, that's not the word. <clears throat> that's not the word. What Missy becoming men That's not the word. Good. No, yeah. Why if he good? No. Oh, why is she great? No, that's not the word. What's the word? It bomb me. <laughs> Total <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> Marvin in Texas says. So my question is, Daddy Rule, what if you and Yo, Miss Delta... Don't worry about your bomb yet. What if you and <laughs> Miss... Answer. We are bleeding here, man. I have no comments. <laughs> eh? So my I question is, Daddy... Is that a bomb yet? Hey, man, let me tell you. Daddy Rule, <laughs> if you and Miss Delta are married... Yes. Are you listening to the question, sir? Yes. You, are, you ever woke up no bomb, not no bomb yet? Yes, it is. Can you turn that way, please? Go let them rock you out. <laughs> Miss, yeah, if you are Miss Del Del married Shannon, Shannon boy, yeah. um, and she I mean, go I mean give Paul, yeah, she is asking you, okay. and she go give Paul some. Mm -hmm. Whose property does it be become? Paul, it's neither Paul, Paul's no. nor yours. It's hers. No, Paul lease it out. <laughs> <laughs> Your short term lease. <laughs> One. Marvin out that answers your question. Um, next next part to uh, <laughs> uh, women, let the woman do what she please. What please her, Lisa says. Lisa want a film cake. And Kimoy eat says so true, Daddy Road. Let's see what else Lisa says there quickly. We have got that one already. Um, the only person I own is myself, Lisa says. Yes. All right. Let's see. Other textures. Right. Um, that she owned I? herself, but she's also owned. You know what I mean? <laughs> I saw the thing go. Kimoy 
says we got some of those already. Lady Cleo, we're not done with the, done with the bomb thing. Like Cleo. they belong to us, their bodies belong to us. All right, go back and um, let us see. That Marvin in Texas is texting. <coughs> Daddy rude mad you know. <laughs> Love for Lord. Can I tell you? He is absolutely crazy. Um, all right, so we go back to the Vox Pop and the other part where well, we were on part two, do you believe that when you are in a relationship <coughs> that your partner is now your property and vice versa? No, I don't think he or she is a property. The moment you start thinking that the person is your property, you become so possessive and obsessive. You're my private property. Right? You're obsessive she and possessive. Me. And then you find that if the person Don't has to pass. go, then the where, where your mind is at and what you have told yourself will not allow you to give them the space and the freedom to do what it is that they choose. It's their life. Right, while well, it is that you are so in a relationship, saying, so, so, so you, you are don't saying own that, the person. So are you saying that jealousy? Don't try and control. You are saying that jealousy is wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's understandable and it's it's human nature no, to if, feel jealous. Eh. But what I'm saying is we must be able to control ourselves. The gentleman says um, standards and discipline. You must be able to control yourself and say, okay. This woman does not want to be with me. This man does not want to be with me. What am I going to do? No, we're not talking about that part. Then. No, but, but it, it comes we, to the, we're not it reaching comes, yet. No, it comes down to it. All right, well, if on. it is All right, that well, your on. partner does not want to be there anymore right, for well, whatever on. reason. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Chain well, them down in the relationship. Let me ask you a question, right? Come on. With kids, are we only picking them? I will bring them come here. <laughs> It that, will bring them coming. Yes, man. We, we, Once they are minors, we, we, we're responsible for them. We, we, we own them. Once they are minors. In a sense, I believe so, yes. So at 18, we're going to own them again. <sighs> yeah, put out the fence pin on the thing, man. No, I'm going to ask. And if okay, we don't own let, them, let me who not, own let me them? Let me not use the word own. <coughs> no, because man. I a own child, what I use. But, but needless to say, a child will always be yours to own. Uh, let me ask that question then. See? So the way you're putting it is camel cloth in that way. Why? At, at, as a minor, we are responsible for the kids that we own. As an adult, we no longer are responsible for what they do because they are now, um, they, they have to know answer to the law for so, themselves. So, so we don't own them so, again? Yes, you're, they are your kids. <laughs> they are your kids, but they are no longer children. They are adults. They are no longer minors are under the age. Yeah? Based on what the law states. They are adults. So they are answerable by law for their own actions. So what I'm say is, this owning thing, we, we don't want to put it that way for the kids because once after you pick me and you birth the child, like, yeah. you, and you're a pick me. So at what point do you let go as a parent and, and then allow them to have a relationship where them know the, the, the level of dependence on you decrease and their dependence on somebody else increases? Because when you start to become a dependent, you know, in whatever way, emotionally, um, financially, whatever way, there is a sense that you are owned. And that is why I would encourage any young person, young man, young woman, don't put yourself in a position where you become Then if me I spend for you, I will own you. Don't put eh? yourself in a position where you me can buy, be owned by anybody or anybody can say it. Nobody you. owns me. Me no. buy care for you, right? No, you don't, nobody owns me, man. I and own you myself. Take a care. Me warn you. <laughs> right? You silly ladies. buy clothes for you. You silly ladies. If I never me. Be self-sufficient. Right? Because even if when you me, are self-sufficient. You wear that. You don't wear that. You don't wear that. Me warn you. Sometimes when a woman is self-sufficient, a man can <laughs> pretend to own her much less when, she, when she's not. Ladies, put yourself in a position where you are not wholly and solely dependent on any man for anything at all. And if it is me that you are in... buy the phone here where you got. If, the S something. Look here. No right? man buy things to get to man. She right? buy nice... But buy the S something. She buy nice clock shoes give you to... Oh, no. So there's a there's a trade going on. So don't come talk about the phone. There was a me, trade me, going me, on. She buy me, nice no, shirts, me pussy shirts. No, and no, 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 no. In can say that. And nice colognes give you. The colognes. So what me, you mean? Me watch I'm a chain and then sitting there, right? But me I talk about say now, a man has spent pan you, your boat, your nail, your ear. You want your head? No, you want your fingernail? So I'm glad say I don't have right? that to deal with so, you know. Since I them thing that make you feel 
great and, and, and um, bossy and nice and you drive a little. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're Audi. Right? Who? You're Audi. Oh my God. Go hard in your Audi. You okay. drive your Audi. Lisa. Z oh, no. Lisa says. As a matter of fact. Can I make your account give me? Lisa. Take it back, man. Oh my God. <laughs> the worst kind. Lisa in Atlanta says, I take everything, but no one owns me. Oh, scar, etc. Still don't own me. That's Lisa's thing. Bad girl, Lisa, you know. Care what me house. No. <laughs> Quote at me house. Give me back my car. Oh, my God. Where's all the dog? Who want the dog? Oh. Everything. Listen. Oh, there are women who can attest to that. You know the song about you're a liar, a cheater, whatever. More want the house, the car, the kids, the dog. I want it all. That song, them mad. Le Lady Gracie says, that's why it's no good to take things from man. You have some real genuine good men out there who will share what they no, have but, with you and vice versa. No, but hold well on. No, no, no. Well on. Some who only Not give because... you, they only give you ladies because at the end of the day, they want to say they own you. Well and on. then they set you up on your foot well like that. Cassidy. No, don't get me wrong. All right, talking now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking now. Balance off is sitting now. I always because do. Because I always stay so. I always do. I don't want to give man things if and then is. take it tell away. If it is. If I never made a boy, I wouldn't look so good. Talk it short. Eh? When you give the woman these things, you say, I, 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 you own them. And no, I, and no, I no, them no, so, no. And I no, give them nails no. and ear and all these things. We are talking about, we are talking about, Oh, no, you know. Ladies. We only tell them something when we we'll find next man. Ensure that if it is. That you're in something and you're getting, be sure to be willing to give too. Yeah? Do the little you can to give too if you're on the receiving Look here. end. Don't I will just be there never taking, forget my brethren. Taking, 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 and not give nothing. Enough fear. I will never forget my brethren. I think I want living. I did want living. I never living. I don't care what it will look like living. I can't remember what name. Zane, you'd have living and you'd have one next one will look like living. Treyuna or something like so, the name. Okay. The woman by the Treyuna. Right? I'm a bridge and I drive it. And I can't tell all the chain, everything when they mash up. You know? Phone call, where you there? Where you there with my car? Mm-mm. Listen. I own a turn, sir. Uh, no, 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 no. Own a turn, sir. Mm -mm. But if, then again, then again, if he's out there with her car, driving around with Sue and Jane, every hour of the day is another girl. Hello, bring it come. Bring it come. I didn't buy it for that purpose. I'm sorry. Who you buy it for? For you put man, for you, for you put at man na at car. So me talk about? Right? So me talk about? At me so go on. Lady Grace said man tan so too. Kimoy says real talk. Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo enjoying the program. Good to know, Kimoy. Lisa, honestly, there are good men out there for real. Yeah. Can I tell you, Lisa? I will tell you. I will tell you, Lisa. I will tell you. There are a few good men indeed. And big ups to those men out there who will do something kind or loving for a woman that they love without thinking, I me own her, you know. Like because me. me <laughs> poor you. <laughs> I me own her, you know, because I me give her this and I me give her that. Guess what? You were in this thing together. You must at some point in time been receiving from her as well. Yeah? She must be giving you too. And men, if you're with a woman and she's not doing anything for you, or she's not even giving you a little gift every now and again or doing something nice for you, why are you still there? You know, one of my uh, brethren said... Because of the coochie? Seriously? You know, one of my brethren said... Um, a situation um, was happening, and he said, boy, you know, say some man behave. You know, I, 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 I might describe the man behave. I said, boy, the man behave like when a man run a woman out of her house and still hang on up on her clothes. <laughs> you know, why you do that? If, 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 if you tell her to come out, uh -huh. where you hang on up on her clothes for? You just make sure go on with everything. And if you tell her to come out, why are you inviting her back? Because, well, when you hang on up on the clothes, that means you still want the woman to come round. But we are talking about the people them who feel say they are owned or not owned. But when they are married, is there a difference? Ah, you know, a little bit of different spin is on it. And I, I, I wouldn't say own now. I really wouldn't say own. Mm. But in my opinion, I respect the, 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 what the they scriptures. Say, what they say, you're, you're now a union. Yes, so the two have become one. Mm, so, so you own in, each other. So in a sense, you have evolved. <laughs> so you own each other. No, man. I, I don't want to put it to own, man. The Bible never said own neither. What it say? Wives subject yourselves to your husband and yeah. husband subject yourself no, to your wife. No, it never said that part there. <laughs> it never said that part there. Uh, 
Wives submit to your husbands, and husbands must leave, forsake all others and cling to them wives. No, the it's a leave and cleave. No, man, I same thing, man. Leave all others and cleave to your wife. Mm. So what I say is the two people are now going to be working together in that little duet. I never say leave all others. You know, it's if you left your, 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 your mother and your, your, your whatever, your, that it means. So everybody else, my youth. No, Everybody no, else no, and cleave no, to no, your no, wife. No, 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 let me tell you something. Look, 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 look. how much finger ring they pan? <laughs> You know what? <laughs> this controversial dude, this man. <laughs> I, I want to go there with about look, 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 how much ring, finger ring the pants. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> they are one finger. We just start marrying the, the these other, men, the ladies, and get put lonely. Ten, fing, ten rings on the ten fingers. Better not do that. Because the other nine all get lonely, Lisa says jealous and bad mind. Lisa says it's a togetherness. <laughs> and I agree with you, Lisa. This union thing is a togetherness, and now that we have united as man and wife, I do believe that yes, we, we, we are to work together as one. But if it is, if it is that, for example, a man's life is at risk, Cassidy. or a woman's life is at risk, sure it's something, Cassidy. Nah, until they say, must sing, you know it. Sure it's Sorry, something. there's a difference, you know. When you propose to a woman, you get engaged to her, right? You give her one ring. <laughs> right? You engage to her. Oh, Jesus. When you marry her and you get her next ring, it now means that you own her and she give you one ring. No, own nothing. So she pretty much just like, engaged to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she don't really be quiet. <laughs> so she don't own you yet. This person wants to know if you're going to take back the panties too. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> They are more that me buy. Well, I know. They are more that me buy in I pass. I know. <laughs> Some of them may never take off. <laughs> I never may take them off. Yes. Oh, so. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they can't go on with it. Were they for $100? 100 how much? $100. JMD? Jamaican dollars, man. Me never buy no hotel. Okay. Never buy so no hotel. So, Vicky? No, man, you go, you go in an adapt store and buy things, man. Buy, buy Vicky too. So, were they for one US? I remember a long time, a long time, I buy this thing on my girl. I remember I said, I have the chart, I know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. A long time. Mrs. J is still on the chart. Yeah, but I don't buy this thing for him again. I give him in, 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 in thing finger buying one thing, man. Oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm, he has outgoing buying underwears. Can you imagine yeah, people? Pyjama, I said, I'm pyjama, I said, I'm going to buy a gimme for anything now. Pyjama? Man. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> you have certainly gotten old. You have gotten old. We go quickly to the last part of our Vox Pop. The part I like. Because. The part I like. our friends on. Um, the Facebook Live who are locked in. Sandra from Styles locked in. Um, we have Steny Rank. My head looks like shine in another one, man. And Katie and Edmund joined in. Sydney Wilmot from Mile End, St. Anne. Big ups, Karee from up. Canada. Dean Dixon, Natalie Bramwell. All right, we see you. Sarah. S Sarah Lee Pottinger, Pottinger locked in. Juanita Williams Pusey, good to have you on board as well. And Gregory Cole, Hugh Anderson. Sandra. And, yes, oh, Sandra. Sandra Forrester and as Sandra well. And Sandra Colthers. And Dee Bloom. <laughs> all righty, anybody else there? Quick, 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 quick. Steny Ranks, all right. Big ups, big ups, big ups. All you guys locked into the Facebook Live. All right, so the last, latter part, the last part of our box pop. What does this statement mean to you? Your mind at the end of time. I don't like it. Me not like it. I don't like me it. Me not like it. That song like till death do us part, and me it's not man. that way. We're talking about either because there are people who they will be together until death. They can remarry. One can remarry if the other person dies of old age or of whatever reason. God forbid they should die, but they can remarry. So till that death. Mm -hmm. We are going to stick together until that death. But, that but then the other one, we're boy. Till the end of time. Uh, till the end of time. All till... if me dead, so you like... can't find nobody else. No, sir. Your that mind till the end of time. Hold it means, uh, is that, is that statement yeah. to me? You know, you know when I say, boy, you're smiley, can't left. Mm -hmm. No, no, you know. Can't. Can't. What oh, a type of story. Left. A type of story. I don't know, you know. Deliver us. <laughs> Vivian is at, in Atlanta, is texting in, and of course, Lisa is also texting in. You are um, mine till the end of 
time. Oh man, you lost most of the program. You missed most of the program, Vivian. So please be sure to go on YouTube no. tomorrow or later on and watch the program. All right. Um, and we did talk about no, I, um, at Chicago we, we did that talk about at Chicago the Monday. No, he, he didn't give me such a hard time, not, not a bad time at all, Vivian. Good to know you're back in Atlanta, <laughs> all right? Um, no mine. Lisa says no mine till the end of time. No, 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 no. Um, things not working, you call it a day. One partner dies, the other one you move along. Look here. Grieve and move along. Yeah, and it's not left. mine till the end of no yeah, time. Yeah, and it's the left. They say, well, me not left your door. Oh, my goodness. Right? Your mind till I don't like that statement one bit, right? <laughs> when you, when you take on, you see, then there are some some little teenage thing to me, you know, mm. right? And you, you you grow up with some of them first time fifties and sixties love song there, mm -hmm. you know. Every day is just another day. They kind of friends, you know. Mm. Tears on my eyes, rolling, rolling down, down my face. face, you know. Rolling down, down. Then the song, you know, you, you when you think about boy, your mind to the end of time, your girl gone left you, and you sing them the little song there. And you say, <laughs> boy, John, you say, no, I forgot to open the phone and call him. Then turn, you, you take out the dial phone, the, the, the one with the round circle. Oh, jeez, though. Oh, right? And I said, boy, Jano, please pick up, please pick up, please pick up. And he picked the daddy to answer, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that sounds like a personal experience from daddy rude people. What do you mean? Can I tell you? you? Mean? Oh, my goodness. Hey, yes. I'm used to go to the front, go pick, go, go, go pick the sink and pretty flowers. She loves me. She loves me not. Nah. She loves me. She loves me not. He and, was a fairy tale well, kind of guy. And the sink and pretty, I have seven petals party in a castle. And it always falls. You, you, you know sad? She loves me not. She loves me. So you end up and she loves me. <laughs> Smart. That is your mind till the end of time. Belief. Well, Lisa says, honestly, I love to run things and I get to do it. So it work out for me. Me not tell you, man. I'm one of the dominant one them. <laughs> I don't. I don't like to run things. I, yeah. I love to get my way sometimes. You you and turn so to you, you be quiet. and Shelly. I I, I love. You know what the balance one boy? Sandra, Lord of no, mercy. I balance. Oh, I balance. You imbalance. You want line and no, balance. No, I like your team and you. No, I, right. I balance. Wine and balance. I, <laughs> I balance. It's just that. I don't like to hear no. To be honest, I don't like to hear no. And I, 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 I want what I, yeah. I must, for you the most part. You want to get what Yes. Do you want to be spoiled? Why not? I'm, I have been spoiling people for years. So how about being spoiled now in my midi, mid, mid in your crisis? Age. In your age. <laughs> Just in your age. Spoil me, man, because I can't spoil you back. Cassidy. Yeah. Determine your mind till the end of time. What, what what that mean to you? A serious or just I don't know that Cassidy. trivial. It's trivial. The girl come to you and say, Cassidy, you are mine till the end of time. You're not gone nowhere. Me not left you an inch. You get scared? No? Oh, I like that. That's good, Cassidy. Cassidy. <laughs> I, I tell you that in a bed if you do nothing wrong, and I tell you no brother. <laughs> me I tell you. Oh boy. So we have to be careful of the utterances. I don't think a, any partner should feel <coughs> that they own the other partner. You're in the thing together. You know that life is a gamble. Anything in life is a risk. You go in it understanding that there could very well be a risk. There might not be any great one. It might be a minor one. But it's all a risk. Life is a risk. Life is a gamble. So what is it that you are going to do so as to safeguard yourself? You invest as much as the other person invests, quite frankly. That's my take. You give in and give up as much as you are able and willing to manage to give up and to give in and ensure that you are in something where the two people stand the chance to either lose or to benefit in the same kind of way. Don't be in something that you are burdened to make work. You are the one who is suppressed but let me to ask give you. the best of yourself but sometimes, and making all the sacrifices but, and the, but, but, the, the, the woman isn't or well, the man well, well, isn't. You, you know what I Not don't, fair. No, well, you know what I don't understand? I hear a lot of women say, boy, they want a man who, who take charge. 
is it that the same thing as being dominar uh, dominating? Like I said, to an extent, you want a man, the average man wants a man who she can rest assured that he can be the one to lead that family in that regard. A woman needs a man who he can step forth and speak on behalf of his family and represent. Mm. So we want that. But we don't want somebody who, I don't think the average woman, let me put it that way. I don't think the average woman wants a man who can cow her down and tell her everything that she must do the way of himself to do it. I don't think that's what the average woman wants. But if the man wears right? Huh? But if him wears right? If it is right, not a problem. Don't get mm. me wrong. I will accept a man's way if it is good and I see where it's more plausible and more meaningful and sensible than mine. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm against um, a man's view or his authority to some extent. I, I like that word. So repeat it. No, I won't. <laughs> so, I, I don't say I'm against that. I'm just saying to run my head and to lead me in terms of control or to dominate me. To me, dominance means say, anything me say as the man goes. It means that he has the authority. And I don't believe that should be the case. Nobody should have any authority over anybody. You are adults. You're not children. You have authority over kids that you have to monitor and guide and govern. You know, say, at that, at, yeah? at, at but that. this relationship thing, no man is supposed to uh, uh, call on a woman well, and a woman uh, call on a man. Well, Anna, you say Come that's, on, man. Th th that's the difference between um, democracy and communism. I mean, like communism. I mean, in a it. Right? No, Dictatorship. Man. No. Certain things run right. Mm -mm. Yo, men aren't always me right, shows. you know. Go for me shows. Oh my goodness, it's a good thing we're at twelve o'clock. Cassidy, Yo. don't laugh. <laughs> do not laugh, Cassidy. We are at twelve o'clock. Do not tell me. Do not tell me nothing more with me. You for do. You. Oh my goodness. Uh. He just struck a nerve, people. He just struck a nerve. Imagine the man <laughs> tell me. The man tell me. Yo, Karen did not come give me. No, make sure say it warm. <laughs> and if me gun it no one, boop, boop. You crazy man. Hey, you know me say what you. You crazy me, man. Me go to a restaurant, what you know? <laughs> and I bridge you know, and I order something. But it's like me understand what the lady, <laughs> with, with, um, the, the, the lady where I serve it, you know. It's like the man say, boy, him not ready yet. Take the bridge and I order. And when she has served me, you no, know, she and him argue, you know. I mess to myself say. You know, if I want thing I don't like, me not like when a woman I cook my food and then sit there, shave my food and then bex. And the woman bex over my food, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you, I know for me, sitting, me just take your food because I'm hungry and go about my business. <laughs> but imagine it too, I was so uncomfortable. You call it superstition or whatever, me not like, me not feel the woman for give man food for bex vibes, straight up. And some men will tell you they don't, most so of you, they don't want it. Can my food come and make sure that the right amount of steam I come out tight. And if you ever beg so far, I would just do you what the woman in that dire, <laughs> dire mad black woman did. I would just oh, do you the same thing she did when she got when it she she had enough of him. Yeah, I I couldn't I couldn't operate like that. And there are some women, sad to say, who are such cowardice that they cower under a man. No pun intended. They cower when a man speaks to them a certain way, mm. women stop it. Stop it. And men who respond to their women like they are kinakis or hooligan, we don't need to stop it. It doesn't make you a man when you speak down to a woman. When you speak ill of a woman, it doesn't make you a man. Yeah? You what need does to it make us? Butto, kinaki. Right. right now, my butto. Yo, Lisa, good night. Yo, Grace, good night. <laughs> Yo, the whole uno. Just be quiet. Good Just night. Happy, mute, mute belated. Mic for crying out loud. Uno, People, woman. Happy until, belated. Woman's day. Until, Good night to all of Uno. Until next week on behalf of our, our <laughs> engineer, Cassidy. <laughs> Lady Cleo saying to all you wonderful people out there in Radio Land, please do not listen to my sick head co-host, please. All right? Oh, Lord. Until next week, be good, stay safe, love somebody, share with somebody, do the best you can for somebody else because when you do good, it certainly will come right back to you. Love you guys and ciao till next week. Dad.